Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay. The waveform means recorded. Check. Okay. Okay. So this is <laughs> not a check. drunk cast, though. No, it's not. No drunk cast. Mm-hmm. It can Mike be check. if you wanted to. <laughs> it's already a drunk cast. Shh. We're not supposed to say we're drinking products. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to the 166th episode of Downtime Podcast. Today I have returning are some very, very, very special guests with me. First up, we have Daniel, aka DJB. What's up, y'all? How's it going? We have Matt. What up, what up? And last but not least, we have Ryan. Sup? <laughs> Sorry, that was weird. Can I get it? Can I get a take two? Yo, all right, all right, up, Jeremy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was it. Just leave that all in. Leave it all in. Yeah, yeah we're leaving. We're, we're leaving that in. It. We're leaving that in. <laughs> <laughs> How y'all doing today? Happy Friday! Happy Friday! It is Friday, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the weekend. I don't know, man. Like, uh, ever since, like, 2019, I just feel like I don't know what day of the week Dude, is anymore. Dude, I, I feel you on that. Like, weekends don't even feel like weekends to me. Weekends feel busier than the week sometimes, so it's kind of like I don't even know mm-hmm. what my what my days to relax are. I just kind of, like, everything is just all from home anyway, so that's just how I've been feeling lately, too. I don't, I don't, I I don't even know what day of the week it is sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, I it all kind of just blends together. I I live and die by my my calendar now. I have mm-hmm. a, a work calendar okay, yes. and That's a personal calendar. Ask. Yeah, it's it's How the best. How many alarms thing. do you have? Do you use alarms or just calendar? Uh I I have work alarms for like when upcoming meetings are happening because even mm-hmm. I get like like sidetracked and I get too focused on my work and so I yeah. always forget about stuff that's going on, especially meetings. Um, I feel that. Yeah, so yeah, dude, and. I don't have alarms for my personal calendar simply because uh, I just feel like I have a better track of that since there's a lot less stuff happening. But my days are just so cluttered at work that I need alarms because sometimes I don't even have time for lunch. And I'm like, oh, dude, what? I need to eat something. No, by law, you got to have lunch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yo. That's true. Very true. Um, oh, my God. But yeah, so that's that's how I stay organized. I know I know Daniel also has a calendar that he lives and dies by. <laughs> yeah i do and it's filled with a bunch of like twitch stuff like twitch events and which is important and, um you know like school events and um just uh t- like you know we're at that age where we have to be intentional about hanging out with people and everything you know so you gotta like That's right. That's right. you gotta hit up somebody <laughs> uh, that you know somebody that you're close friends with and you gotta plan like okay guys we're gonna hang out at this and this time <laughs> you know yeah, show me your yeah. google, google calendar let's, let's... you know i hate like honestly like people who be like this toxic kind of like oh if you can't make time to hang out with me then you're not really like yeah I my friend hate that <laughs> like i hate that because it's like <laughs> damn like yeah we are at that age where it's like you need to block out time <laughs> it's yeah. True, it's true. yeah but you don't have yeah. to be a fucking asshole about just it just because i can't make time now doesn't mean i'm not gonna try to do it later <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, don't you think like, that maybe like some people just never really caught on that transition from you know like because you know when you're in school when you're in like high school and mm-hmm. college all your friends are people that you go to school with and so yeah. your schedule is set already yeah. so you don't have to think about yeah, it exactly yeah. and everybody has generally kind of like the same block of free time as well right but then eventually people get to like different jobs and different um uh they're in different stages of life some people get like you know, married sooner than others or have kids sooner than others or do another. We get it. You're married. Thanks. Yeah, we get it. What's up? <laughs> wow. The point. Why would you do this on the podcast? Oh, on. <laughs> <laughs> well, the point is that like you, you know, you have to start to be intentional and, and like schedule times to have dinner with people that you don't normally run into on a regular basis anymore. Uh, mm-hmm. Now more than ever, yeah. you know, so it, it's, and and some people don't um, transition well to that sort sort of mindset. They just kind of feel like, okay, I'm just going to be friends with the people that I spend a lot of time with naturally. Yeah, 
And I feel like quarantine has made this worse because people just assume any time that you're not like working or like doing some sort of obligation, then you must be free because you must be home. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> like, yeah. It doesn't mean right. like I don't have like shit to do at home. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, hey, but, me time is not important apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I I always try to check in with people. I'm like, yo, are you free to do this or are you free to do that? Before I, I just assume, like, I in mentally I just assume people are always at home doing something, but I always want to ask, like, yo, are you are you like busy tonight or do you have time for this? Like, I literally ask people if mm-hmm. they have t- like, what time do you want to do this thing? Like, Daniel knows. Like, I've asked him, like, okay, what time do you want to do this? And you guys probably know too. I'm like, what time can we schedule this to be? Because yeah. I I try to be a very organized person. I, I try to schedule everything out ahead of time so I know when it's going to happen. And yes, we thank I, you I for am. That. Not, yeah, I, I am yeah. one of those people that likes to ha- like keep an organized yeah. list. And especially when I travel, like I want to have a general idea of what I want to do, not necessarily by the time that it's going to happen, but like at least have a general outline of what I want to do that day instead of having no plan. Because just for me, just knowing what I'm going to do is uh, is easier than like just going into something and not knowing how uh, to do it or, or what I'm going to be doing. Um, I think Daniel and I had this conversation and that's why we can't be freestyle like rappers because we're just too organized. <laughs> no, it, it's, you need to have your bar straight up. Was that already. a dream? <laughs> was this something Daniel was trying to do? I, honestly, hey man, I mean. For me, I, at one The mixed talk? But with, with like rapid? For, for yeah. The hype with, with, with freestyle. <laughs> so bad, but hey. like, I was trash. Yeah, but yeah, I but get you know that. what, Jeremy? It's true. I appreciate that about you. Um, Thank you. But, you know, I did find it a little strange that you sent me a spreadsheet for a potential Japan trip. But, you know, like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, but that's that that's totally tight. cool. I'm not, I'm, a, I'm down for I all that because that, that means, me. hey, Come we're going to when we finally do get to go to Japan together, we're going to make use of our time so well. We're not going to waste any. any days. Ideally. Yeah. No, the, the, the idea behind that was to show you. Um, that I'm pretty serious about you know, like going to another country with somebody else because, sure. you know, you can offhandedly say someone to a friend like, oh, yeah, let's just go here together one day. I hope it happens one day. But like I, I'm the kind of person that like tries to materialize something and taking the first steps, even if it includes sending you an itinerary, I, like albeit, I know it's kind of strange, a detailed itinerary um, to, to give you an outline of what things you can do that day. I, I just want to let you know that I'm thinking about it and I want it to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 it's strange in like a, an unusual way because usually when people try mm-hmm. to, uh, um, um, you know, coordinate something like that, then they just, it's it's so far out. But but sure. there is a lot of good about that. And I, I appreciate that because, it yeah, you're right. It did It does mean that, you know, like I said, it's being intentional about, um, setting things up and trying to make things happen for future dates. Thank you, thank you, man. Jeremy, Jeremy, it sounds like you've you've read the secret. <laughs> I I have that book. I have not read it. <laughs> <laughs> my, mom, my mom gave it to me. She's like, "Yo, you should read this." I'm like, "Yo, I'm gonna oh, see, put this on the show." Because you're already book. living that life, Jeremy. That's why. I- <laughs> Wow. I heard that successful people wake up at like 6 a.m. Bro, I'm up at like 10. Like, I can't wake up that early. Damn, I wake up at 5. Oh, but... I, I know. I wake up at 5. I know. You guys but are successful people. Successful. Exactly. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> I don't feel any more successful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are real successful. I mean. I just wake up because I have shit to do. And hey, man. I, that's I, fine. I can't sleep. No, dude. That's okay. That's okay. I respect that. No, I respect that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, being organized is definitely something that I think we can all benefit from. And like you said, Matt, like you know, as we get older, we, we just need that because it's hard to schedule time with friends. Um, and I, I like literally, I had a buddy of mine hit me up earlier today. He's like, "Yo, what are you doing on this week?" And I'm like, "Well, I'm getting my COVID shot. I'll try to hang out with you, but I'll make some time in my calendar." And he's like, you, like a legit calendar? I'm like, yeah, I'm not just saying that. That's not just an expression. <laughs> like, come on, man. Um, yeah, I, you know, time is so valuable to us now. And I think, you know, as we get older, we realize how little of it we have. And, True. you know, since I started this whole streaming thing, I'm finding a lot less time to do other things. Like, honestly, I find it difficult to work out because I would find more time to have a, a quick workout in. But Lately, I haven't been working out, and it bothers me that I haven't because I've been focusing on streaming. But how do you guys get see, stuff? See around? what you what you need to do yes, I know is exactly. you gotta work out 
and stream. And stream, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or, there's or, so many streams like that. Or we could redeem now. bits for you just do, you know, 10, 10 crunches exactly. right on stream oh, during wow. a match Some of people uh, do that. Like Apex Legends, yeah. you know? Yep. <laughs> I mean, real talk, I thought about streaming Ring Fit Adventure, but I was like, okay, how many people will actually watch this and be like, this is interesting. I mean, you, like, you know I'm there. You know I, I'm I there. know you're going to be there, but like, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be I won't just... call her out on this podcast, but one of my friends, who's one of your former co-workers, Jeremy, ah. is now on Twitch, and she was doing like those like workouts. Really? <laughs> like, really? Kind of, like, uh, What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> talk to me after chat. <laughs> <laughs> put, that, put that in the Discord chat. <laughs> yeah. Hey, link me up though. Link me up though. <laughs> like, yeah. Like I don't know. People do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I I seen there's there's the exercise category. Yeah. Just go go to town. Ah. Yep. Uh, yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'll think. I'm still thinking about it because one, like, I don't know. My the floor I I have in my room is all wood, so I feel like that will hurt. But oh, yeah. I do have a uh, a standing mat, so I could always just oh. use that as like a workout mat too. No, dude, no, I'm sitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do all of it sitting. Yeah, <laughs> you could do modified because uh, uh, my grandma she does modified exercises, and it's all sitting based. Oh, you that's check cool. Check that out. Yeah, yeah, man. I'll you I'll know. do some research. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Make sure to wear the most tight fitting clothes on on stream and you'll do good yeah oh dude yeah and then people will be like yo only fans though and i'll be like uh yeah it's in <laughs> the closet right now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> jeremy's gonna have a get swole stream yeah oh dude <laughs> you would inspire me i i start working out with you if you have a, if you had a schedule on the calendar of like what days you're, you're, you're gonna exercise what time i'll be up there i'll be exercising with you Oh, if you're if you're being serious, dude, I might have yeah. to take you up on that. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't mind some eight o'clock, like right before Apex Legends twenty minute super hardcore stream of exercise. You know? Oh my god! <laughs> just saying, just saying. Okay, you just okay. change your redeems to like yeah, uh, yeah. physical challenges, yeah, physical based. Like, yeah. Some people do that too. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, Matt. You mentioned that a friend does it. You have a friend that does yeah. that. Uh, I yeah. might have to. Change they do like push ups and sit ups based on yeah. like people's redeem <laughs> you know. right nope. okay <laughs> there you go there you go there's a way around it <laughs> so calendars calendars work this is all we're saying yeah yeah <laughs> um something something off topic and quick about my day yeah. today and i want to ask you guys about yours but mm -hmm. for me um i was said i said goodbye to a co-worker today um he's leaving oh. the company i was i was really sad um, but, uh, we actually surprised him because he didn't know that, uh, we were all going to be there. We actually hid. So he, he drove up and he started walking to the entrance of the restaurant and all of us, like literally we all hid behind a car, like metal gear style. It was, it was Hell scary. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Were you guys in boxes? Oh, no, like dude, I wish. <laughs> it was like some Hitman metal gear, just like <laughs> sneaky ninja oh, man, type it, type. Yeah, he didn't notice until like we got closer to the entrance and he saw us. He's like, Whoa, is that you guys? We're like, Yo, what's up? And he's like, What? You guys are here? We're like, Yeah, oh, what's that's up, so dude? Sweet. Yeah, he was so happy. Um, so the restaurant we went to is in Richmond. Yeah. And oh, Richmond. Yeah, it's at it's at a it's called Black Star Pirate Barbecue. Have you guys heard of this place? No. Sounds oh, epic. Sounds awesome, <laughs> it does. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I love the name. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Oh my god. So it's at Point San Pablo, which is like north west richmond area yes. and um it's it's in a like basically a deserted like peninsula because you have this one road that's a it's a two-way road that's the only road that leads to the restaurant that goes into the point san pablo yacht harbor and um it's a dude who literally looks like a pirate he runs this barbecue joint and oh it's the small outdoor area and he he gets up at two thirty in the morning oh to get like to get God. cooking to get all the meat ready for like an eleven to twelve o'clock rush. Um, oh it was packed God. when we went there. Uh, cool. So they have they have brisket with the burnt ends. Ooh. They got oh, pulled ends. pork. They That's got the ends. yeah. They got ribs. Like the, the dude literally came out with the ribs fresh, and I was like, I need ribs right now. And oh my oh, gosh, yeah. it was so good. They, so. They got what chicken, they got turkey. What was that? What type of rib style? Is it sauce, no sauce? They or? put sauce. They have sauce on okay. it. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. Right. Uh, sauce is good. I, I think you can okay. ask for no sauce. Okay. Um, so so like got, a dry rub? Yeah. yeah, you can ask for a dry rub. Um, okay. So they got pulled pork, brisket, um, yeah. pork spare ribs, tri-tip. They got lamb, chicken, turkey. Um, and then for sides, they got potato salad, mac and cheese, um, sauteed greens. They got grits, uh, some coleslaw, sweet potatoes. They have beans. Just, you know, typical yeah. American barbecue style food. Um, it was amazing. I got to say each, each dish also comes with a, a sweet roll on the side, which was to die wow. for. I believe wow. they make it there, which is amazing. Um, I got to look this up. This sounds amazing. Yeah. So they don't deliver because they're so off the beaten path. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's, it's insane to get there because you lose service once you get over there because the cell phone towers are so far away. Like all of us are like, Oh shoot. None of us have service. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, it was kind of good because we didn't have to check email or anything. We were, like, really away from work. So that was nice. Um, no, that's ideal. That's ideal, especially if you're saying goodbye to someone. Oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. And um, the head of our department was there. He was just buying drinks left and right for everybody. Damn. So uh, I had a couple Must beers. Been a while. <laughs> yeah. It was, you know, we, we, we got there, like, 1130 and stayed until 4. It was a long time. Wow. Damn. Good on you. Yeah. Your crew rolls deep then. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> for sure, for sure. And I highly recommend it to you guys or anyone listening from the Bay because this is one of those off the beaten path places that you really need a car to, obviously. But, like, I honestly didn't know about it until a few weeks ago when we planned this, wow. this going away thing. So the fact that you guys don't know is, like, is yeah, amazing too amazing. because, yeah, you guys need to check it out when you have a chance. Yeah, it sounds super home. Yeah, we'll dude, check it yeah. out with you. Dude, I, I, I seriously want to go again. Like, I yeah. want to go with more people because, oh, my God. It's just the, the people were so kind. They have so much alcohol on tap. The food is amazing. The view is so cool. And, like, we, we got lucky, and, and it was a good day. It was, like, nice and sunny out in Richmond. So yeah. that was yeah. dope. Um, but, yeah, if you guys just go to Google, look up Black Star Pirate Barbecue. It, it just, like, the pictures just don't do it justice. Like, I... It's melt in your mouth, die for. Like, wow. uh, it just it has that perfect barbecue taste. Like, it I cannot believe that they had to wake up early in the morning to get this yeah. ready. Like, it's insane. I just like to apologize to our international listeners who are obviously dying from hearing this description, <laughs> Jeremy. And they can't enjoy all this. All the vegan so, listeners wow. too. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to our that's true. That's true. Downtime vegan list. I'm so sorry. I- I'm listening to this live, and I'm, my mouth is watering. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And now I want barbecue again. Like that's yeah. how good it was. Damn. I mean, oh, this yeah. is one of those places that you think about like days after. Like, damn, I want to go back there and eat. Because, dude, I would love, to, I would love to take you guys there. Like, it's, it's yeah. just that good. Let's yeah. do it. Um, Eventually. Yeah, we'll make a plan. I'll make a, I'll make a spreadsheet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> make an itinerary. Yeah. I will. I will. <laughs> Share that Hell yeah. Um, but yeah. So, how's your guys' day, uh, Daniel? What about you? How's your day going? Today was, um, it was pretty chill for me. A little busy. I just, uh, I went, um, I went to have lunch with my parents. And I, uh, you know, I had a doctor's appointment, but, you know, just uh, other than that, like, um, I was sitting in traffic for a good amount of it. So I got to catch up on some podcasts. So, oh, nice. Nice. yeah, I listened to a little bit of uh, downtime. <laughs> oh, also oh, thank you. Listen to a little bit of like Rex Never Ready's podcast. Uh, so, so, yeah. I didn't know he had one. He, he did. But, you know, what? I haven't seen a new episode recently, um, but... Um, but yeah, like uh, it was. It's interesting um, because I, I grew up listening to a lot of Rex Never Ready, and uh, I actually Same. interviewed or, or I, was, I had a discussion with him along with others uh, when I was doing the Bostos podcast. And so, um, yeah, I just I really in, enjoy hearing his insights because he's very um, uh, he's very much uh, like the kind of guy that that uh, really ha- has passion for um uh you know the asian american experience and he likes to talk about uh you know what what's what's important not just comedy but like you know things that are really um things that are really deep into like social commentary and politics um you know so mm-hmm. so yeah i really appreciate uh, that that aspect of of his his comedy and his podcast so 
So yeah, and and I was just telling um, my wife um, earlier how that's sort of like something that I haven't done in a while, and she was she had to go to work today too, like actually to oh, to right. her job. So oh. so we both commented on how that that's so unusual. Like before, we used to have time to sit in our cars while in traffic listening to podcasts, <laughs> but since you know everyone, mm, yeah. since so many people have been yeah. working from home and not really like commuting or anything, it's it's funny that you don't tend to have as much time as before um at least at least for us that that was the that was the case so it's kind of it's kind of nice to just have some time to listen to things and and that i haven't listened to in a while cool that's awesome yeah dude yeah it's you know a lot of people just don't drive anymore because of the pandemic and and because everyone's working from home but i feel like once things start opening up again, more people will start appreciating that time being in the car and uh, listening to stuff, especially podcasts and some music and the radio, because I don't really listen to the radio. Mm-hmm. Um, it's something I miss when driving, just listening to the radio. Oh, I don't. I hate commercials. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Real though. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's funny that you mentioned like, that not a lot of people drive anymore, because I, I rarely had used my car for so long. And so I went to go to my car today and there was just like layers upon layers of bird crap on my car. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I had just, wow. I, the, the place that I had parked was right underneath like a, um, a lamp pole or whatever. So, Ooh, so birds, yeah. birds, birds used my car as a toilet and, and I have like, <laughs> I have a Star Trek, um, wind uh, or sorry like a sun visor for my car so yeah. I, I made a post like my car got shattered on so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i like that <sighs> love it um awesome man awesome uh matt how about you how's your day how's your day going it's been all right uh I know, like, it's not today that I started, but, like, I recently uh, started a corporate graphic design job, which I've been sort of, like, adjusting to lately. And my, like, mini rant about that without getting into NDAs is, sure, sure. <laughs> like, basically, like, I- I've been, like, doing, like, design work and, like, like, a lot of it has been just kind of, like, me trying to, like, problem solve like the process because there wasn't like a whole lot of training when it came to like my job it's just kind of like you know like you have the skills you get to figure it out ask questions if you need and like at least with me like working like there's been a lot of like stuff that I didn't know that I had access to to do my job <laughs> so like like stuff and like I, I've been through this like frustrating for, thing for the past couple weeks where like I ended up like making stuff from scratch that I could have been like pulling from like a library art like, access a oh my god really <laughs> yeah oh. and then I just felt like I was wasting a whole lot of time because like I couldn't ask for what I didn't know existed mm-hmm. and it just felt like you know like I don't know <laughs> I feel like everybody can relate to the idea of, like, having a job yeah. where you didn't feel like you were as prepared as you could have been. Yeah. So. Especially if no one tells you anything. Yeah, sure, so, sure. yeah, that's been my little experience uh, this week. Other than that, uh, me and my brother have recently uh, been moving into, like, a new place that we've gotten into the Bay. So that's been really kind of fun. Uh, what's fun about that is because we had actually purchased this place from uh, a family member. And what's hella funny about that is, like, so <laughs> they they were moving out from the Bay to, like, Las Vegas because they, they had retired. And, like, so they had, like, a couple of moving vans trying to move out there. And they, they didn't want to pay for, like, another couple of moving vans to take out all the furniture. <laughs> because, <laughs> like, some uh-huh. of the furniture, like, it would be more expensive to move everything <laughs> than to just buy new furniture there. So they left a bunch of furniture. At this place. <laughs> so like this place that we and my brother got like has a decent amount of furniture. It is well furnished, y'all. It's well furnished. Ryan is sitting with me in this location. Right yeah. <laughs> it looks very so nice. His reaction is genuine. <laughs> you know, it's just like, and that has just been like the funniest story to tell people lately, is just because because like people have come over and visit and then just like are you sure that you yeah i assumed it was all empty yeah but (laughs) yeah so that has been a fun thing that's awesome 
Yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah. yeah, I can't wait to see the place. Looking forward to it for sure. Mm. Um, what about you, Ryan? What's going on? Oh me, little old me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> long time listener, time. long time fan, right here. <laughs> of course. You know, I love all all the episodes of what's this? What's this podcast called? Down, downtime. Downtime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> we can be whatever you want it to. <laughs> this week is great because, like, I'm off today. I was off. I'll be off tomorrow. Uh, although, I know you guys are mainly indoors, but I have an outdoor job and, like, allergy season because of the oh. California drop is, like, so bad right now. You could literally see the particles. So it's been really, you know, the only thing that really saved me is actually still wearing a mask because... It really reduces how much stuff goes in my nose. So, like, shout out to still wearing a mask, y'all, even though I'm fully vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But other than that, just been chilling. Uh, just enjoying the tour of uh, the house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. Yeah. I wish yeah, I was but there. No, <laughs> uh, no, just, uh, just, just chilling, living life. I'm, I'm the most boring. I don't do a lot of exciting things, y'all. I'm just here to listen and just, like... <laughs> bullshit that's all i'm here for i don't know i felt the same way because i just felt like what can i pull from in my life i just work (laughs) (laughs) i'm moving and then go to sleep and that's my whole day (laughs) no for sure like my whole day for the past few weeks is just work yeah Yeah, sometimes you have to like really pull out the details in your life and be like well (laughs) like some of it might be too specific to like a work environment you're like okay well i can't talk about that okay okay i got something really boring but like it changed my life i didn't know Sriracha has sriracha almonds at Costco, mm. and they are a wonderful snack. <laughs> oh, oh! Usually, I just have like regular salted and unsalted almonds, and I mix it up together because I'm a boring person. I know. But I've <laughs> added a third layer of sriracha almonds, <laughs> and it has changed right. the game for me. Yo. So, see, I'm really fat, and I love. There's like the almonds that are covered in like extra virgin ov- oh, olive oil, my and like you got the bougie like, shit, parsley and garlic. Damn, that's and hella stuff. bougie. Yeah. And I eat that. that amazing. Because like to me, it's like eating roasted potatoes without having to cook. Yeah, I feel that. So it's like, I feel that. yeah, that's that's what I. Well, eat. You guys are making me feel oh, like super boring because all I eat is yeah. raw almonds. <laughs> I, just, I just I like it raw. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> no, but for real though, no, like, I just prefer regular raw almonds. I don't even want salted. I just want it like raw, yeah. completely. You know. Oh, I want salt regular almonds. <laughs> Well, see, that's the thing. I get salted and unsalted, and then I have a different ratio in my bag of how much, just so it's it's evenly spread. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I'm fucking weird. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> oh, also, uh, yeah, uh, like a couple weeks ago, we went to House of Prime Rib, and then oh. like this 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 article of House of Prime Rib uh, came out of like people allegedly getting sick from it. I was like, nah, we went there and it's all fine. Although I have to ask Jeremy, how how. Yeah. How loosey goosey is SF right now? Because when I went to House of Prime Rib, it was fucking wild. I, I you know what? You better have hoped you got your COVID shots because people were just fucking going ham. I'm so jealous that you went. When you when I saw that you had went, I was I like, know. damn, I can't remember the last time I went there. I know Same. it's been like 15 Same. years, yeah. And it's so bomb. Yeah, so, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, to answer your question, Ryan, um, mm-hmm. the you know it depends on the neighborhood because you know it doesn't matter what your city is where it is like there's going to be people that won't follow the rules but of course. so far on in my street m- yeah, yeah it yeah exactly um so far in my street like people have followed the rules mm-hmm. and there's a lot of people still wearing masks and a lot of the people that i hang out with or talk to are very respectful and they wear masks like like all my coworkers, they all wear masks when they when they meet up with people and they meet outdoors um some of them are, are fully vaccinated so they're a little bit more lax uh, in a group yeah, setting I- I Which think is I'm you know sort of right there, yeah, yeah, and yeah. and that's fine. You know, uh, you know they did their they did their two weeks after their second shot, so they're, they're good. Okay. Um, but there are people in the city, quite a few that I've seen <laughs> that don't wear masks, and it you know not gonna lie, I'm like, what are you doing? Because it yeah. kind of bothers me, and especially yeah. indoors. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of mentioned this to you guys separately, but like a few weeks ago, like a couple months ago, I went to a wedding up in. Up in Roseville. <laughs> oh, here we and, go. <laughs> yeah, and there was nobody wearing masks. And I was like, all right, cool. Yeah. Especially the bartender at the bar and, like, the golfers on the field. I was like, all right, this is cool. I guess. It was yeah. weird. But, um, I mean, yeah. 
most people in the city seem like they're following the rules. Um, okay. So that's yeah, that's a good thing. Because I know they're gonna slowly start relaxing the restrictions over there pretty soon ish. Yeah, I, I got know, the I got the message to di- yeah. It, it came out yesterday. I got the yeah. the message and I was like, oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just just wanted a pandemic update. I hope everyone else is doing okay. Thanks, out man. The, out there in the universe. <laughs> But, like, what about you guys in your, your guys' area? Because you guys are, well, technically, Daniel's closer to me. But mm. yeah. for uh, Ryan and Matt, what is the situation like in your guys' area? Well, uh, I mean, half of the time I see people wear masks. The other half I don't. And then it dep- the more popular places, the less masks I see. <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> Depends on where. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, you know, it's like. Wait till you get your food at least before you take off your mask. You know what I'm saying? Like, at yeah. least, at least, at least fake it till you get your food. You know? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. There's yeah. there's so many people who are just just accepted because of the vaccine or just like the loosening restrictions that yeah. they're like the pandemic's entirely over. Like we're good now. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like we made you know. it. But yeah. yeah, it's just a thing. There there are people who are like. Even my brother and mine and my girlfriend's coworkers who don't even believe that the pandemic is real still and stuff. Oh my God. Like, no. oh God. I like, no, seriously, I was having this conversation with actually a family member of mine. It's another mini rat where I was talking to like one of my family members and like they, I, I talked about, I didn't even state any sort of opinion on it. I stated that I didn't come to some sort of event because I had gotten my second dose yeah. and I wasn't feeling well. Yeah. And they're just like, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Seriously? Get, get the bags. And I was just like, excuse me? Like, I wasn't trying to pick a argument yeah. or I was trying, I wasn't yeah. trying to offend them. Yeah. Or like, I wasn't trying to like. You were just telling your own personal experience. I was experience. just saying, this is what I did. If, that, if you, y'all, y'all don't feel that. Fine, whatever. Like, yeah. I strongly disagree, and I would strongly urge you not to. But fine, like, okay, live your life. But at the same time, I'm also just like, I'm not even talking about you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like I was none of giving what? an explanation is to my absence. Yeah, yeah. I was <laughs> talking just, about myself and just me. And uh, <laughs> they were just like, and then it turned into like a, a genuine. I'm like not even kidding. Like, uh, like a 45 minute discussion. <laughs> Why? Dang. Why they thought it, it? There's no point to it. Are you, and I'm like, just okay. in general, are you guys good at bailing on conversations that you don't want to be in? Do you guys know how to end it or turn it? Oh, around? I'm terrible. Yeah. I'm really bad. I'm terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or do you guys? I'll, do this? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty good at that. I just go, all right, and then I just stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm pretty good too. I'm. I check out mentally, but I'm still, like, yeah. physically there. Yeah. No, nah, but no, Matt, I feel you, because I get heated in those conversations. I'm like, are you a fucking idiot? Like, I'm, no offense <laughs> to your family member. I'm sorry, but, like, just people I no, talk to. No, offense taken. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, like, people who I, I see on the news or, like, I, I have encountered and we talk about situations like that. Um, like, I get heated. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Like, wh- what do you mean? Like, I don't yeah. understand. Mm-hmm. And we're very fortunate to live in the Bay Area where, you know, access to get shots are so much more easily available compared to other places. And I'm like saying, why not? You know? Right. I don't know. You know, you see everyone, you know, even in America, it's it's hard to get certain, you know, the vaccine. And even around the world, it's like, you know, it's like, (laughs) it's just just wild. Just that mentality. Yeah. No, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, about video games. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we go into video games, um, before the podcast started, Ryan, you brought up uh, something on oh. Twitch that's been happening. You brought this up, Jeremy. Don't you put that <laughs> sure, on sure. <laughs> Hey, man. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just going by Make what I remember. Us scene. Make us scene. You said Speaking you were getting these recommended things you should watch, and then I, you told me, I was like, oh, wow, what is that? So, Jeremy, what is this? What Talk is about it? getting heated. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so... There is this weird thing going on on Twitch. Uh, the three of us talking, uh, myself, Daniel, and Matt, are streamers. Um, and uh, I'm sure you guys have heard or seen this, but like, there's this whole hot tub thing going around. What? <laughs> Get out of here, Ryan. Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Shout out to Indie Fox. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's this crazy, uh, you know, the hot tub meta. It's where generally a very attractive 
lady is in a hot tub. And usually not in a real hot tub, it's just one of those <laughs> plastic inflatable ones that they put in their, you know, their room. Yeah. And Which, by the way, if that broke, oh man, that's a mess. That's a terrible mess. <laughs> I know. I, mean, I want. That's why you don't you don't mess up? You yeah, know, you yeah, don't, yeah, yeah. I, yeah you, you put a lot less water in there. Just create yeah. the illusion. And with how many how many donations? How yeah, many they, they subs? Make, yeah. You know, it's fine. You could you could fix yeah. the floor. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. What's no, a little water seriously. damage? I actually did some research, and some of them did talk about placing extra like plastic mats underneath. You know, doing much research, due diligence about this hot tub phenomenon. Uh, but yeah, Ryan's an expert. Uh, well, hmm. <laughs> Jeremy told me to watch it, so I did. <laughs> but yeah, it was yeah. research for the podcast. Yeah, but it's, yeah, yeah. it's, 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 it's interesting because you know uh, Twitch's terms of service is always so iffy, you know. And then it's weird they're able to work around, you know, the ever constantly changing Twitch, you know, TOS. <laughs> And uh, it, it's weird because certain yeah. users will get banned for the exact yeah. same thing yeah. as others that don't get banned. Yeah, and so, when the content's like exactly the same, and I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> but but it's a way to you know have implied nudity without having to go outside, and that helps everyone you know because like not everyone has a pool to just take off <laughs> their clothes. So it it's interesting. I. I mean, you know, good on them. If if I had a rock and bot, I would do that too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I mean, it, Ryan, you do have a rock and bot. I, I I know, I know. But, you, know <laughs> you know, it I it wanna... definitely is polarizing. Um, with a it, lot of the people that I know, a lot of other streamers, they I'll hear a lot of them talk about how frustrated they can be about it, and some people are in defense of it. You know, yeah. it's yeah. so it's 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 hard to. It's hard to say, like, how how should I be feeling about this? <laughs> because yeah, yeah. Because first of all, yeah. it's like you know that's so far removed from any content that I would put out. You know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if if I try, I mean, hey, if I, you are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I tried, Daniel, if I tried, really? I would get zero viewers right right away. You know. No. Nope. Okay. 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 There. That's true. You I'd get three, two. And they're right here. <laughs> I just thought here. Jeremy invited all of us because we all have rock and bop. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Is that not why we were talking about the yeah. hot tub? I thought we were, that was a segue yeah. into starting our own hot tub stream. Yeah. yeah you know? the downtime <laughs> hot tub. You know. Downtime hot tub. <laughs> Dude, I'm down. <laughs> yeah, but but you were saying? Well, I, I was just I was just saying that I think a lot of it just has to do, and this is just my personal opinion, but I feel like a lot of it oh, has yeah. to do with the the um the rise in popularity of things like OnlyFans, um, of course, and yeah. and you know it's like these Twitch streamers are tr- are sort of trying to cash in on on the popularity of OnlyFans by doing you know pushing the envelope as far as they can go through Twitch. Yeah. And uh, using the um, the the community based uh, uh, you know, um, platform of Twitch to sort of build their stream that way. Um, yeah, I, I can totally see that. Yeah, so you know, it's just like girls will have markers, and people will have to like sub or donate bits uh, to have their names written on their bo- uh, the girl's body and stuff like that. I mean, it's just out to the forehead. <laughs> yeah. This is we- it's weird, and I'm not just, surprised yeah. by it. Yeah. Um, and I don't know what my opinion is on it. Like, should it be? Yeah. Sh- is it okay? I I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. But it's also interesting because like maybe maybe they don't want to only fans. Maybe they they don't want to you know do the nudity, but they're fine with like you know this partial swimwear you know. Right. But they just don't want to go all the way. So it's like this is the closest thing as well. You know, it's like. Sure. I mean, the argument just, is yeah. like, what's the difference between people are like, we got to protect the the eyes of our kids. And and then mm-hmm. they're saying like, what's the difference between those kids going to like the beach, you know, and seeing these <laughs> girls in their bikinis at the beach. Oh, it's like, interesting. You know, <laughs> it's intent, intent, really. It, you're, we're arguing different amounts of intent. Of what I don't know. Doing. I don't think your children should be on Twitch in general. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. that, there you go. That, that's yeah. a solid hot take. I like that. And, I like that. And, and they do. It it is age blocked, right? For those streams. I, I mean, I'm, I'm probably 13, not. So I don't know. Probably not for some of them. Yeah, probably okay. not actually. Okay. Because like a lot of these streamers can get away without the age restriction because mm-hmm. they're like, oh, I'm family friendly most of the time, and yeah, Twitch, yeah. like Matt mentioned earlier, will just let it slide because 
maybe they make a lot of money for Twitch. There's this whole underground Twitch thing that's happening where Twitch will let a lot of things slide. Like, so for example, if a guy watches a video and there's like a butt that flashes on for a hot second, he might be banned for like, uh, like three weeks. And then if a female, right. And then if a female (laughs) accidentally does something that is like, you know, a little bit more sexually explicit on her stream, she might be slapped with like a three day ban. Mm -hmm. Um, like, like, well, for example, I'm, I'm kind of like afraid of that. I was okay. playing um, a Yakuza game on stream a couple of weeks ago, and I accidentally, you know, saw a uh, a magazine in the game of a girl wearing a bikini, and I was like, oh, should I not be doing this? And I quickly like <laughs> exited out of the magazine. But you know, so far, knock on wood, nothing has happened. Yeah. I um, mean, but well, I worry about it. We have one, ex- uh, Daniel. When you were playing The Last of Us <laughs> Part Two, it's true. <laughs> Yeah, how, how did that work for you? Um, yeah, well, oh, yeah. see, I did not know that was coming because I was playing it completely spoiler free, and uh, yeah, yeah. Uh. and then I was like, oh, okay, well, nobody tell on me. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and all, nothing's happened, right? Fine, You're all okay. Right? Yeah. It was only twenty yeah. seconds. It wasn't. Yeah, wasn't much. <laughs> no, no, but yeah, nothing happened. But um, okay. I'm sure if I was a much bigger streamer, maybe something might have. I, I don't know. I should. I should look into that. It I depends. Should, I should see if anyone got, gets. Like, what happens? I, I don't even know what the what the um, what the repercussions are if someone like streams a game and there's like nudity in the yeah. game. Like, so you'd hope like if people are searching Last of Us Part Two, it that'd be age restricted. Hopefully, theoretically. I don't know if that's how it really well, works. I, I, I'll tell you this. I did not restrict my stream to mature audiences only when I was streaming Last of Us 2. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you would hope their built-in searches would filter sure. out if yeah. you're under. Hopefully. Sure, sure. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But I think Jeremy had a really good point about how, like, I don't know, Twitch as a platform, it really comes down to, like, what Twitch sees as most profitable for yeah. them. It's like YouTube. Yes. And I think, yeah, like, because I think of, like, uh, you could you could cut me if I, if you don't want these words, but like I think of how Twitch like had like banned like the use of words like simp and like virgin and like incel really? and stuff because know. but because that the people who do those sorts of things mm-hmm. like donate to like girls that they see on like Twitch and stuff like that <sighs> or who okay. are watching like the hot tub stuff like that they don't right. want them to feel alienated from the platform because they're like a profitable market of yes. that platform. That's. That's and that's why those words are banned, that's and I think crazy. that's kind of dumb because it's like, oh, like people can say a lot more offensive things, yeah, like yeah. genuinely offensive towards like, you know, like minorities or different racial yeah. groups and stuff like that, oh, and like right. people of different like sexual orientations, and that's okay, but yeah, but targeting targeting our precious <laughs> weebs and our precious like, I don't know, outcasts and yeah. stuff like that, that that is going yeah. to hurt our market, <laughs> like, Man. but. I don't know. I just feel like it's it's a double standard oh, what, in a lot uh, of ways. Oh, I, I don't know. What what did they replace the Poggers face with? Oh, I forget. Uh, it's a lizard right now. Oh. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's a I lizard like, with its mouth open. I did like that idea floated on Twitter maybe a month ago where it's just a random person. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Switching out every time you, you do that emote, which I thought was a cool idea, but Okay. I yeah. like it in theory, but in practice, it made it hard for me to find. Yeah. <laughs> because it's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah. yes, I guess I can t- just type it out, but like, I look for that guy's face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I still do, even though it's not there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, okay. But, yeah, I look for it too. <laughs> 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 because it's it's classic, you know? It's kind of hard to take that away when people are so used to it. But. Yeah, I know. And it's such, a, it's such an FGC, like historical like, yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. That's, just, yeah, I mean, I'm kind of sad they took it away. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. And it's understandable. I totally get away. why they took it away because yeah. I fuck, and, fuck that guy. Yeah, really. That <laughs> yeah, guy. no, seriously, though. Seriously, seriously, fuck that guy. But, yeah. <laughs> Damn, I don't know. That makes me think of just a bunch of things. <laughs> yeah. I think of, like, the Smash community and that is like, whole lot of stuff that went through this summer. We talked about it on the last podcast. Oh, I don't need you? to get into it again. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah, didn't want your face get what? Uh, what's her face is allowed to go? What? What? Turn it sin or whatever. Oh, wait, are you talking about senpai? Yeah, I don't know. The, the, I don't know. Never mind. Don't worry about that. Just want to say the hot tub meta is interesting. Y'all should watch it. <laughs> yeah. If you're old enough. I. <laughs> oh, okay. Now you're promoting it. I see. 
<laughs> All right, okay. I went a full 180. Ryan, who's your favorite hot tub streamer? Jeremy is just like, Ryan does not reflect the, the value. I am a, I am a, I am a. This is Ryan no. does not reflect me or my employer. Thank you very much. <laughs> just kidding, guys. But it's interesting, and we'll see how long this lasts, really. Because, like, I know a lot of popular, um, uh, I guess more of the attractive streamers, you know, they start incorporating that into their schedule. So it's interesting to see everyone's chasing that style, at least for right now, you know. Um, Daniel had a question for you, Ryan. What was the question? Oh, d- yeah, I just want to know, like, if, since you're into that stuff, um, who's your favorite? Oh, <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I don't even know what Twitch is. Sorry? <laughs> Who? What was the Who? What was the question? Who, 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 who's your favorite <laughs> out of all the streamers that stream uh, hot tub streams? Uh, I mean, I think one of the most popular ones that keeps going up, it, which I, I actually really like, was, and she's number, well, I think she got popular through Hot Tub Streaming, even though she used to do other stuff, was Indie Fox. Hmm. And you plugged her. You plugged her earlier. Yeah, yeah I plugged her earlier. And that's oh, the only so one I could have really made, know. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. I think that's her name. <laughs> Uh, but she she also, I, you know, she also used to do a lot of music streams beforehand, before she <laughs> stumbled upon this, and then she's actually making money compared to what she was doing previously. So it's it's interesting, because yeah. it actually catapulted her up, you know, and then now she's incorporating her music again on her non-hot tub streams, and they're j- almost as popular. So I don't know. It's, it's, it's interesting trying to game that into whatever genre you like doing, you know? So sure. like I said... Jeremy, Daniel, you know, maybe one hot tub stream and, you know, see <laughs> where that takes you. <laughs> My, I saw a picture of a dude on Reddit who's a streamer and yeah. he just posted a picture of, I guess, himself or somebody, a dude in a hot tub stream just sitting there floating on like a duck and just with Hell, his sunglasses on. Yeah. And I was like, hey, man, if the women can do it, so can the guys. So I was, yeah. I was really proud of that. And even <laughs> I'm on the front page of Twitch right now looking and seeing how many hot tub streamers there are. Um. So far, I only see two, but then one of them is a clip from yesterday. Yeah. One of them is uh, um, a streamer named Victoria's, and she says 18 plus Hawaiian barbecue and a hot tub. So oh, I think that's I, one. I think I remember that one. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. <laughs> and then we have Ryan Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Pokemon over here who's in a hot tub with multiple people. They're all like on the phone oh, really? or something. Oh, really? Pokemon is doing it? Who would have guessed? Pokemon. I know, right? Oh. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a fan. What are you talking about? <laughs> Legally. Legally. <laughs> yeah, apparently it was her birthday or something, and then hey, she just had a hot tub, and birthday. all her friends just jumped in the hot tub. I hope you're all um, vaccinated. That's okay. <laughs> That's a whole other thing. Anyway. But yeah, it's interesting, and we'll see how long it the lasts. The hot tub is the vaccine. Yeah, I guess so. in. There you go. It's like Dragon Ball. Oh. Yes. All the extra yep, Johnson That's Johnson how that works. That's, that's science right there, baby. <laughs> that's science. It's all the unused ones that Japan isn't using right now. So. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. That's Ryan. Uh, that doesn't reflect downtime podcast. <laughs> we love you, Japan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Get better, Daigo. <laughs> Gee, now, now you're calling out Daigo. <laughs> I doubt he'll listen, but uh, there you go. There, there, those honestly, are the fighting I was, words. I was just so I was so sad when he tweeted that out because I'm not much of a fighting game guy, you know. Matt is, but I was like, oh. And then, I'm an aficionado, but I I'm like, I don't know. Like, I'm not on the same level as like, let's say, like JP Bragazza, but. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I could say his name. His name is his brand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That's easy. That's okay. That's okay if you call. <laughs> yeah. But you know, so it's interesting. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for yeah. the tangents. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got you. Um, uh, okay. You know, enough of the hot tub talk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's talk about some stuff. Oh, so, yeah. uh, what are y'all playing? Um, Ryan, what you playing, man? What's going on in your in your gaming life? Uh, you know, I've I've realized that I'm even less of a hardcore casual. I I, I assumed I was casual gamer now because I rarely play, but now I'm like even less right now, especially th- these past couple months. So you know, guys, Mass Effect finally came out. Yes. So <laughs> guess what I'm doing? Free playing the old ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so uh, I, I found out uh, my my save for Mass Effect Two got completely erased. 
Oh. Uh, so I'm restarting Mass Effect 2. Uh, eventually, you know, when I eventually get one of the next, I guess they're now current gen consoles. I'll, I'll get. I, I know Mass Effect, the legendary editions are 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 for you know, uh, Xbox One and PS4, and they're forward compatible with the new stuff. But I, I'll, I'll wait till I get a new next gen console. I'm just replaying Mass Effect 2, which is like. Uh, Mass Effect 1 is the best, clearly. They just, you know, there's some design problems with the menu and UI. But Mass Effect 2 is so great as an action, third person, you know, cool ass shooting and combo effects with your biotics. So that's what I'm doing. Um, also, realizing that I lost my Mass Effect save, I pulled out my 360 and I'm uh, getting all of the saves in order just in case. You just gotta replay. That's I, what I do. I know, I know, I know. But I, I'm checking out all my uh, video games from 360 to see if the saves are still good or not. Because I guess I never really uploaded all of them to the cloud originally. So mm. now I'm doing that. And also, I have a I have a big old memory stick just to save all the stuff on a stick as well. Because uh, I don't want to ever lose that again. And I'm really sad that I lost my Ma Mass Effect 2 save. But whatever. I'm I'm replaying again. Hi. <laughs> I think last time I was on this podcast, I, I was saying I was replaying Mass Effect 1. So I'm, 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 I'm on Mass Effect 2 now. So, you know, okay. that's it. I'm boring. Nah, dude. No, no. You said it with dude. such conviction, though. <laughs> I know. I know. Dude. Dude, Mass Effect 2, in my opinion, is one of the greatest games ever made. So, yeah. uh, you yeah. know, like I can't wait because I have the Legendary Edition queued up on my PC. Oh, sweet. Are you I, downloading it right now? Oh, it's already, it's already, it's already pre oh, pre installed, sweet. boy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey. oh boy. Yeah, yeah, but but um, yeah, like I I, I do like Mass Effect One, uh, but I just honestly I just can't wait to get to Mass Effect Two because you know yeah. it has my girl Miranda, so. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay. Hey. Right. I'm not a Miranda All fan, right. I see. <laughs> oh no, I love Miranda. I I just. I see you're an ass man, then. <laughs> no ass effect, bro. And I see you're a hot tub man. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say ass effect? <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Ass oh. man. That's a, is that is that the Ivan Stra Strahovski yeah, character? Yeah, that's Ivan Strahovski's character. Oh, dude, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yes. Although, yes. they did change the camera angles and made it a bit more respectful, allegedly. So, oh, we'll, you, you'll have to let us know. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You'll have to let us know. <laughs> you know, uh, are you going to play it on a stream or are you going to do your own personal? I, I, I hope to stream it, yeah. I just got to make okay, sure good. I find the time to so, do it. Yeah. That's a, that's, that's that's a lot of... I mean, it Mass Effect 1 games. through is... 3, that's a lot of time. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of hours. At least on PC, you could, you know, uh, get a save from someone and then, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. Because then I'm playing, know, I'm know, playing with somebody else's decisions, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to I see the repercussions <laughs> of all my decisions. You know, you're right, you're right, yeah, you're, so, right you're right. So, it's, it's but right. I'm excited because, like, you know, Mass Effect really needs this win. Bioware really needs this win. Hopefully... It's launching in a smooth state, and uh, right. yeah. uh, after Andromeda, really, you know, didn't really do well for everyone. You know, oh, so disappointing. And, you know, with the announcement of the new Mass Effect eventually coming, probably after is Dragon Age is coming first, and then Mass Effect. I forget, but regardless, it's gonna be a while, mm -hmm. and uh, we we need this as fans. So agreed. All, all my N Seven brethren, you know, shout out to people out there. Getting their Mass Effect on this weekend. Uh, ooh! are playing mass effect uh on the discord please p post your your chefs yes there you go yeah for sure yeah yeah that's all i always make my shepherd in asian because we need more asian representation nice i'm gonna do the same yeah. thing i was thinking the same thing i was like i need to I do that too man i keep fucking every single time i keep my my dude always like looks like he has a stroke like so an Asian dude with a stroke <laughs> it is not a good look no that's so terrible and, yeah yeah that's bad so. I'll, I'll, so I'll, I'll, 
I'm gonna. I'll try to uh, take a sh very blurry screenshot of my Mass Effect one face because it, it is not a good look. It. Yeah, yeah. Post that on the Discord. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it dude. Is not dude. A good look. It I'll is see not. that. And you know, I, yeah, yeah. You could judge, <laughs> please. <laughs> <laughs> I've already been judging this whole podcast. I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make I'll make a Mass Effect game chat so that we can all just put our yeah. screenshots in there. Yes. <laughs> it's gonna be yeah. fun. Um, so that was it. That was it. Cool, man. Uh, so continuing on the conversation with Mass Effect uh, and stuff that we're playing and looking forward to playing, Daniel, you just mentioned that. So anything else that's on your agenda or uh, currently playing? Uh, you know what? Um, well, we did recently talk about most of the games that I've been playing uh, um, on the last episode of Downtime that I was on. But I will also mention that I've been doing a, a replay through of uh, Dynasty Warriors 8. Um, Whoa. <laughs> uh, the Ocho. Because <laughs> I, I, I'm still trying to keep myself hyped for this movie that I somehow, some way will... I will get access to with English subs. Um, yes. Hell yeah. But uh, yeah, like I've, I've been replaying Dynasty Warriors 8 because, you know. That, and which one is that again? Um, It's the one where they, I believe it's the first one. That's the one with a lo lot of guys, right? A lot of, lot of guys. And <laughs> a lot of guys. A lot of guys. Eight of them. Um, <laughs> I believe this was the first one where they introduced the, the Jin, um, uh, 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 the Jin Empire or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. The, like Wait, uh, which system did that come out? Or is that on PC? So I believe eight first came out on PS3, but uh, okay. then they made eight Extreme Legends Complete Edition, which had Extreme oh, really? Legends and um, and then the original story mode story mode game with PS4 mm -hmm. graphics on the PS4. So. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah. So that's what I've been playing, and to me, that's um, it's it's one of the most complete dynasty warriors games so uh um yeah i've been i've been enjoying it even though there are a lot of I, i'm realizing all the things that were kind of annoying about the dynasty warriors games that make people not like them which which are totally valid <laughs> for me it's always they're, they're good podcast games what was that sorry they're, they're, they're good podcast games, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, you don't have to pay too much attention to sound and stuff like that. You just, you know, just yeah. play and button mash and just, you know, just relax. Yeah. That's what I... It feels right. good to see all the points and damage. Right, you know? right, right. But, the, you yeah. know, the only thing about Dynasty Warriors is, like, the this difficulty scale is always so messed up. Like, normal mm -hmm. is so easy. And then when you get to hard, like, these bosses, you know, the ones that are kind of, like, like where the 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 air around them is kind of hazy because they're supposed to be yeah, these really, yeah. <laughs> really badass really bosses. Yeah. yeah, like they'll kill you if you get hit by just one of their Muso attacks. <laughs> if you're full oh, health, gosh. and so it's insane. Like I mean, like the I've never played on hard. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because normal's too easy, and then hard is too challenging. Sometimes we get it. So yeah. <laughs> But yeah, cool. I have been a long time fan of the Dynasty Warriors series and um I am really hyped about this movie coming up and so that's why I just been I did a uh I just completed my um playthrough of the the Shoe Kingdom um uh storyline including the hypothetical storylines where the Shoe Kingdom actually wins. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. That's awesome. So yeah. Wow, you She was my favorite kingdom out of all of them. What's what's <laughs> okay. yours? Ah. Right? Uh, it's been so long. Uh, Cause the one with, yeah, the one with the lady. I, I know mean, that's so, they all have I ladies. Know. They all have I know, ladies. I know. I know. I'm, I know. I'm gonna assume way. The blue. What color? Oh, what, what color? Does she use? Well, uh, I don't know. What, what oh. weapon does she use? Do you know? Do you know? Um, is it the spear? Oh man! So a, a lady with a spear. <laughs> Yeah, does that make ring of? I don't know. It's been a long time since I played. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. Wait. So, so Jeremy, yours is Wu, right? You're a you're a Wu mm -hmm. guy, right? Oh right. yeah. You're Wu, really? Oh yeah. That makes sense. Most Sun people. Say. Most people seem to like Wu. I, I feel most people that I talk to, they're big Wu yeah, fans, but because they're basic. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Well, no, I only like. like... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I like I like Joe Tai. Like Joe Tai is really good. He's he's, he's, he's one of my, my boys. I he's a solid yeah. character. He's a pirate dude. Yeah, pirate <laughs> guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, yeah, um, yeah. So I mean, I I, I will have to uh, look it up because I'm not sure if there's a female that yeah. I can think of off the top of my head that has a spear. But you know, you might be right. I I just honestly, yeah. I, most of the people that I pay attention to are the shoe kingdom warriors. There you go. So. You got your you you got your you know your people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is true. Yes. Um. That's awesome. Dynasty warriors. Uh, it's a classic. Yeah, certified classic. Really. I we still gotta watch that movie, man. Like Somehow. I've been trying to find that movie and I can't find it mm-hmm. like anywhere. So it, it already came out in China. Yeah. Oh really? Oh yeah. okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, we're just trying to find it by other means and we can't find it. Yeah, by legal means, I get it. Exactly. Yep. I mean, it's, it, I'll I mean, settle for a like... bootleg as long as it has <laughs> readable English no, no, subtitles. No, 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 no. Hey, yo, <laughs> iTunes, Amazon, hit us up. Well, uh, so Netflix <laughs> apparently bought the distribution rights for oh international God. release. So when are we going to see it? So I'm thinking next year, maybe. Oh, I mean, gosh. or maybe later this year. I, I can't wait that long, though, because I, I really want to watch hard, it. How hard does it take to put subs on it? <laughs> really? Uh, I, I mean, Someone should yeah. know how yeah, fast it takes, you know. <laughs> I feel like there's a fan that could do it in, like, a day. Yeah. <laughs> But who who do I know about like translating yeah. stuff like that? Yeah, who, right? who knows? Who exactly knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll talk to someone. Don't worry. About it. <laughs> yeah, Ryan's got connects. He knows. He knows I, people. Yeah, I got connects. He knows people. Eh. Uh, <laughs> hot tub people too. So that's what's. Yeah. Hey, hey, no, you told me. Anyway, <laughs> sure. Anyway, sure. So, so Matt. So Matt. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold By on, the end Daniel. Of this podcast. I'm gonna buy a hot tub, guys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, Daniel, is that all you're playing? And anything else on your agenda? <laughs> no, that, that's pretty much it, yeah. Oh, okay, for sure. Solid. Yeah, Solid. man. What about you, man? Um, <laughs> damn. <laughs> Only because, like, I haven't been playing a whole lot lately just because I've been busy. But, like, see, this is where I show my age. Because whenever, like, I get this question, like, I'm... I'm not like relevant. I'm not topical. <laughs> Yo, hey, I just told you I'm replaying I, Mass Effect 2. I'm a huge <laughs> retro gamer, so like I've been playing. What I've been trying to go through recently is I've been trying to play all of the Donkey Kong Country games for the really? Super Nintendo. I've never played them. Like, oh, really? nice. I've like maybe played like the first five levels, and uh-huh. I'm like, this is too hard. And I just yeah. give up. <laughs> so I've been playing through the trilogy. I just beat the first game, so I'm starting Damn, the second awesome. game. Nice. And a lot of people like, and I agree. I could understand because as someone who lived. Even though I didn't play through these games during that time, yeah. as someone who grew up yeah, in that no, time, sure. I can appreciate like, wow, these games are amazing. And they're how- incredibly hard, yeah. but they're like amazing. <laughs> like, and how are you playing this? I'm just playing Super Nintendo. Oh. Or no, actually no. Uh, well, it depends on where I am because then mm-hmm. I'll just like move saves around. Like I either pay play them on my Switch, mm-hmm. which is like the Nintendo Switch Online, or I play them on an SNES Classic, or I play them on my computer and I just emulate them. But oh, okay, that's cool. That's one cool. of those three places. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty sick, man. Yeah. So, um, but I've been playing those. The other thing I've been not playing, but I've been watching a whole lot of recently is... I've been wa- I haven't been able to pick up the game myself, but like I've been watching a whole lot of people like stream uh, Resident Evil 8. The and I really, it's a game that I really want to like play because a lot of people have been saying like, oh, there's a lot of like mechanics that they brought back from Resident Evil Four, and I think it goes without saying. We talked about this on the last time we were here. Like yeah. Resident Evil Four has been ported to everything, and it's right. still a masterpiece. So. Okay, side side note. Uh, do you guys like Ethan Winters? I I, I don't know a whole lot about the game because I'm trying not to spoil a whole lot about it. But yeah. I know. Just his name. Okay. So I I haven't finished. Did you play seven? Yeah, I haven't finished okay. seven. I did okay. play seven. Okay. Um, okay. and you know, from what I gathered, like for the time that I was playing seven, he's just a dude whose body you inhibit. He's meant to be 
a shell to house the player because even Capcom on the website they posted a picture of him. I know. I they love don't even those. show his face. Yeah, he's just generic. He has the big anime old glare, sun glare. I love yeah. it. It's yeah, yeah, so yeah. Because he's meant to be a. Uh, uh, he's a blank slate. Yeah, yeah exactly. He's meant. To, he's meant yeah. to be a, a, an impression that the player can put on, so that how, you know how, we can just be like, you? oh. How far are you into seven right now? I don't remember. I need to go back and do my save again. But did, did, did anything happen to his body? I don't re- recall. Okay, never I, mind. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, never mind then. but I I kind of know what you're talking about. Like I'm planning to get the game on PC because they currently okay. have it on PS4. Yeah. But yeah. I want to get it on PC so I can like play it uh, uh, using like a better graphics card. And I just heard to it get looks all the really little nice de- on PC. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I heard it looks um, really nice. So. Yeah. I know about that, and I know that in, in Village, they uh, they gave him more of a personality because he started becoming his own character. So yeah. they're giving Ethan Winters a voice, and they're giving him, like, interactions, and they're giving him more dialogue to flesh out him as a character. So yeah. it's, he's becoming more than just what the player wants him to be, you know? Yeah, and the one thing I, I do want to say about Ethan Winters, at least in Seven... I love the way he acts whenever a crazy fucking situation is, and he just says, all right, well, here I am, and like he just rolls with it, and I love that <laughs> attitude. Yes. <laughs> so it, 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 it's like a great contrast with everyone else. You know, everyone's either super gung-ho or like either super scared. You know, it, it's right. just like, all right, I've come to accept this situation that's so crazy. And just roll with it, so. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I don't want to because... color anyone's opinions if you haven't, want, you know, yeah, either played through it all or anything. But does I anyone like Ethan, Ethan Winter here own like VR? Is anyone trying to see that? Like oh. Resident Evil Four is supposed to be coming to like the Quest, right? Yeah. Like yeah, VR, and I'm just like I'm I'm trying to think of playing that game like one like first person like the the recent games, but also just like yeah. I'm trying to think of like uh, what do you call it the the Saddler's right hand man fight or like I'm trying oh. to think of like uh, the the regenerators like yeah, in yeah, first yeah. person. <laughs> I'm just like because I, I think the VR was like exclusive for PSVR for like a year, right? And that's the only reason why they're bringing it now to I think so. computers, sure. right? So I, I don't have a PSVR, but I don't know. It, it seemed like it was. Cool. If I need another excuse to play RE4 again, I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I. I'm one of those people have... who, yeah, like even though it's on PC, I like I'll play it on the Wii. U. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. You, Dude, you want to use yeah. every console. The Wii, the Wii version was actually good because you could aim accurately. Yeah. But. Um, um, listen to the tension, Jeremy. Uh, it's clearly not the superior <laughs> version. Uh, bring back tank controls. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I'm excited for this VR release for Resident Evil 4. I think it's going to be really cool because they reworked the entire game, which is yeah. awesome. Um, at the same cool. time, um, I think that a lot of people might be turned off because it is quest only. So, huh. yeah. who cares? Yeah. Just, it's going to be, it's going to eventually get out to everything. So don't worry about it. I don't know why people were pissed when RE4 was originally a GameCube exclusive and now it's on everything. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had, uh, my copy on the GameCube says only for GameCube. I'm like, that's a lie. <laughs> that's a my biggest lie. regret <laughs> is not getting it on GameCube because I did. But yeah. like, my biggest regret is not getting that bundle with like the chainsaw <laughs> GameCube Dude. controller. Oh, I remember oh, that. Because I'm just that. trying to imagine walking up to a Melee oh tournament God. and be like, yeah. I got my controller, guys. Let's go. Dude, Matt, Let's oh go. my god. I Put Matt, I have I have literally looked on eBay several times this year to find uh-huh. a chainsaw controller and <laughs> every single time I look at it it's like over it's $1000 or more because yeah. it's yeah. It, uh, I, if I could find one like at a Goodwill or something for like 5 bucks that'd be a steal. But have you, holy have crap. Have you tried the Goodwill website? You might find something. I that hey, pro tip uh, yeah. I'm gonna do that. Bef- I, a good thing yeah, editing you, this before, before it comes you out. Publish this. Yeah, before the, <laughs> when I publish this, this podcast is coming out in like right two now. weeks. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, uh, good, good, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going there. I'm going there. Um, <laughs> but you know, I, I personally, I don't have a VR set, Matt. But um, if I did, I would try to play Resident Evil Seven in VR. But I heard it is fucking scary. Yeah, I can't do that. 
Yeah, yeah, I feel like as I love horror games, I love horror films, but I also like a degree of separation from what I'm watching. Yeah. <laughs> like, I like to know that I'm in my room, <laughs> like, yeah. in my space. Sure, sure. So if something's too immersive, I just feel like, man, like I would probably play it in short bursts. <laughs> <laughs> I need to, I need to go back to reality for yeah. a second. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, I'm dude. here. But. No, I feel it. Um, there's like a a great bit in like rick and morty where uh morty's playing a game at an arcade and it's like the life of a guy and you oh, it's yeah. the arcade game is like literally you're living this whole guy's life and then he take and then rick takes the helmet off and he's like oh, what year is it who am i because <laughs> he's <laughs> yeah. like living this other guy's life in like a vr headset and that, that's totally how i feel too i'm like i'm so immersed in the game that, to the point where i'm like I, what is happening right now you know yeah i just you know we're just waiting until we get the holodeck you know, just going to do some wild, crazy adventures, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> going to make copies of all you and, you know, just have interesting romantic relationships. With Dude, all yes. your, with, your hot girls, with, with your digital avatars and then hopefully you guys don't come in and see, like, what are you doing? Like, who, you got, what are you free. doing? You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, so, oh, wait, wait. Speaking of which, Jeremy. Yes. Uh, you should really watch DS9. I just want to. Yes. Oh, thank you. I thank you. Further, 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 <laughs> um, although my only opinion is still watch season one and two. I know. I'm one of those people who will watch all the bad seasons. <laughs> it's so I, it lowers the bar. So when it starts getting good, you feel good about yourself. and like, damn, now everything's gelling together. That's, that's the only thing I like to say about that. Anyway. All right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm sure you heard our, uh, like Daniel and I of talk course. about uh, the game and <laughs> that game I was playing and how my brother and I <laughs> used to play it. It's so random, right? It's such like an out of left yeah. field thing that like, yeah. we're not Star Trek fans at all, and we just played this random game that our dad had, and we ended up liking it a lot and remembered really all the characters. Sh- you really should watch Star Trek. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, it's it's cool to to watch nerdy things in this day and age. You know, yeah. like when I was growing up, anime wasn't cool, Star Trek wasn't cool, but now all that stuff is cool. And jokes on you for making fun of us for liking that stuff. <laughs> Very true. That's how I feel all about you glasses. Haters. Remember glasses? <laughs> like only nerds wear glasses. Like now, glasses are super cool. <laughs> right? Yeah, like, everybody wants guys, glasses. Everybody man. wants glasses. Okay. Even if you don't have bad eyes, you want glasses. Yeah. Guys, I've, need, I've needed glasses since first grade, so I'm I'm so thankful. I'm so yeah. thankful. <laughs> so fuck you all the bullies that made fun of ryan for wearing glasses yeah, yeah. which is no one because i was amazing there you anyway. go <laughs> <laughs> anyway yeah so well you know as an evil and star trek to, what got it i would say though that um because i did i did mention that yeah like skip mm-hmm. seasons one and two but mm-hmm. but i would say if you do choose to skip to season three like i would Watch from season three of Deep Space Nine on, and then if you find yourself interested afterwards, watch season uh-huh. one and two. That's that's what I did okay. personally. I, I was like, okay. I tried watching the first couple episodes of DS Nine when I first started watching the show, and I was like, dude, I yeah. can't do this. <laughs> it's so I totally get it. I totally yeah. get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even like the first couple of seasons of like uh, a Voyager was was really oh, yeah. was really rough. I mean, Voyager is notorious for being you know, whoever's write, writing that episode is it, it, going to portray Captain Janeway a different way. You know, sure. And yeah, that's a whole nother can of worms. Right, right, <laughs> right. Sure. Yeah, yeah. No, sure. I got you. I I mean, I the the completionist in me wants to just watch all the seasons from the yeah. beginning. But because I've never, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like because like I've never started something from the middle and been like, all right, I know what's going on. Like, I like the setup, I like the character development, I like to see all the relationships happen. Um, so there are a good couple of I, I I'll try to find them a YouTube compilation so that will prime you for going into season three. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, you know, you know that's a good compromise if okay. you don't want to do one and two. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I feel like this is sort of more of like a modern type um, approach to television, though, when you think about it, because when Star Trek was around, this was back when all shows were made to be syndicated. And... Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. No con... con- continuity yeah right because you know it would be it would be impossible to for somebody to watch uh you know every episode 
consistently, um, you know, one after the other from start to finish, like people do now because people just stream them, binge them, whatever. Most people, when they got into Star Trek, they just watched whatever show happened to be on, or whatever episode happened to be on TV. And if that that's how people with them, watch Friends, <laughs> nobody's watched Friends chronologically. You've just exactly. seen a random episodes. Yeah, exactly. That's and you yeah. stitch it together. That's how TV that's was back then. You know, so we me. watched it again at Nick at Night. Shout out to Nick at Night. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. so, so yeah. in in that sense, like I totally understand. Like a lot of people are like, "Oh no, I have to watch from episode one to the final episode to, to consider it yeah. my like complete watch." But you know, um, I think when you consider the time that the certain shows were made, you know, sometimes it's just meant to be watched like, um, from uh from an episode that resonates with you or. Um, from an episode that's considered uh, that well represents what the show's about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I totally get that. Yeah, but yeah, it does start picking up when uh, Cisco becomes a captain. True. Yeah. And not a oh. goddamn commander. Come on now. <laughs> Did okay. a brother wrong? Did a brother wrong? Uh. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Yeah. No. Thank you guys for the advice. I will. I will look into it 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 definitely is on my queue can i only watch it on um paramount plus is that the only place to watch it right now uh i think netflix should have it um hulu probably has it as well but i don't know okay uh don't quote me i'll send you a link don't 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 worry about it yeah (laughs) this is watch party (laughs) there you go i mean i'm down Uh, (laughs) um cool yeah uh on my end, uh, I started a new save in Animal Crossing Ooh. for the GameCube. Ooh. Um, started streaming it last Monday with the intention to check up on my village every every Monday uh, just to, you know, see how my villagers are doing, um, pay off my loans, just to, you know, hang out with hang out with uh, some, some of the, the OG villagers yeah. in Animal Crossing. So um, you still have your OG save, right? I do, I do, okay. yes. So you didn't and delete so, it, you just made it. No, okay, exactly, exactly. I wasn't yeah. sure if they actually had multiple save slots back so, for, for that one. Yes and no, yes in that it takes uh, up you like had a to have the standard memory card, right? <laughs> yeah, so you had really? to have the, yeah. the giant, you had to have the giant oh white memory card God. or the black memory yes. card oh. to have blast. multiple. Yeah, the blacks are the best one because they have like 251 blocks or whatever and they can hold Holy multiple shit. game save files. Um, you can have at least like, like three saves without sacrificing too much space for Animal Crossing okay. because all Animal Crossing saves are fifty nine blocks for whatever stupid reason. Holy um, shit! Yeah, so I mean, I later in life I got I ended up getting the white memory card, which is one thousand and nineteen blocks, <laughs> which is ridiculous. Wow, big baller, big baller over here. I mean, it, it was like cheaper, you know, because this is way past on the GameCube's lifespan. Do you lifespan even own was. enough? GameCube games to fill that. I do not. I do <laughs> not. I really don't. But like you know, that you have random ga- games like F Zero GX, mm-hmm. which requires seventy five blocks of space. Wait, I'm like, the, what? I've never Jeez. owned that game. Seventy five blocks for yeah. Why? You need seventy five blocks what? for F Zero. I <laughs> don't know. You know, part roll. of the reason. Because you know what, Matt? I Are think they saving be- the whole game locally on my memory card? I, I don't know. I don't That's know. Wild. But I think part of the reason is because they're saving your your ship, your car. And um, back in the day, I don't know if this is so random, but like if you guys have ever stopped at a specific rest stop on Highway 5 when you're driving down to Los Angeles, um, there used to be an F-Zero AX arcade machine where you can plug in your uh, GameCube memory card and it'll transfer your save data from F-Zero GX to the arcade version. I remember seeing this several times growing up. I'm like, okay, I don't own that game on the GameCube, but I know that it has there's a version of this game on the GameCube. Wow, that's um, wild. It sounds yeah. like Initial D. Yeah, <laughs> pretty but, much. Pretty much. What stop is um, this? But, but worse, because it, it, it takes... <laughs> you don't have a flimsy card. You just have this <laughs> big old block memory card. Right, yeah. And oh my God. I carry I'm, my GameCube memory card with me at all times. Yeah, on see, the that's chance the thing, too. I saw an arcade machine. Yeah, Dude, it's like you had to know LA. where it was. Um, wow. Daniel, I don't know the exact stop name. But I remember it specifically on Highway 5 on the drive down to Los Angeles. Um, uh, and I remember the machine because it was huge. And I was like, wow, that's kind of weird. So I approached it. I looked at the controls. I was like, okay, this looks like a regular racing arcade game. And then I saw the memory card slot that, that there was text around it saying, like, you know, insert 
your memory card into here to use your vehicle in the game. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And that was the only time I ever saw that machine. I never saw it anywhere else. Um, only at that rest stop on the way to L.A. <laughs> so, so that's random. why you think it's so big. Yeah. They had to I, do that functionality. Exactly. And, for you a know, machine they, that barely anyone had. Right. Yeah. yeah. And like, I don't wild. know anyone that that has played the AX version, the uh -huh. arcade version of the game. Like, oh I don't God. know anyone. So, so you're so telling random. damn, we got to buy that machine, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, Jeremy, you're telling me that like on on a trip down to to L.A. on Highway Five, you told your parents like, oh, wait, let's stop so I can play so I can plug my memory card into this machine at one of these stops and just uh, give me like an hour. <laughs> no, no. I, I never had the game growing up. I didn't have enough space for that game. Oh, okay, um, okay. It, we just happened to stop there twice on two different trips and I remember and seeing it both times. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. Um, if I did have it, I would probably like insert some some, uh, some oh, tours and story. play the game. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Rest in peace, F-Zero, Arcade. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, Damn. So, I started a new save on Animal Crossing. I, nice. I'm giving all the villagers voices because you, why not? Like little <laughs> yeah. accents. That's cool. Yes. Yeah. What'd you, what'd you name yourself? Maru, because I'm boring. Wow. So stream yeah. appropriate. Right. And <laughs> the, si <laughs> the village is called Bay City because, you know, it's the Bay Area. So, I got to rep. Yeah, I get it. I get it. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I've been doing that. And, um,. I I am leaning back on playing some Star Wars Battlefront 2. I used to be super into the game, Which um, one? but Star Wars Battlefront 2 from 2017, the one oh, that okay, everyone the 2017 hated. 2017 one. Okay, got it. Got yeah, it. yeah. So on the original pandemic or uh, were they pandemic? Yeah, it was Wait, pandemic. Yeah. yeah, I did play that one recently too. So um, yeah, I saw that, on I yeah, yeah, on May the fourth, they had uh, an unlimited power event, which was in really? Galactic Assault and Supremacy. The modes with like 40 plus players, uh -huh. you can. Um, you can have all the heroes from all the eras, all the villains from all the eras, and just Shocking. everyone fights each other. Yeah. And all the all everyone costs battle points, which is usually, usually like four thousand. So you have to kill a good amount of people to get the battle points. Yeah. But they were all four hundred, so you could just spawn, oh, kill yeah. one person, despawn, and spawn as a hero. It was insane. Awesome. Like matches would last so long because there was just so many Sith and Jedi like force pushing each other, and like, there was explosions <laughs> from grenades from Han Solo, like yeah. electric shocks from like BB nine E, like. It was, yeah. yeah, dude, it was insane. Like, we, we were playing Endor, and the last part is, like, a double-layered command point that you all have to, like, defend or attack. Mm -hmm. um, defend as the villains, attack as the heroes. It took 30 minutes for for me to finish because there was just so much chaos. And this is it unranked, was, right? This is unranked, yeah. This oh, is just good. a pub Thank match. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean... I mean, all of all of Battlefront 2 is unranked. There's, like, no ranked matches, but... Uh, okay, just personal. Yeah. Also, it was triple XP that day, so you had all these sure low-cost heroes and villains. for rank matches. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. There's an official, unofficial Battlefront 2 Discord server, and, the, and I'm sure there's some serious people in there. But. I'm sure it's very toxic. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, I've been, like, dipping my head in there every now and then, just seeing, like, what's, up, what's going on in the Battlefront yeah, community? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, everyone's having withdrawals because that event was like the game on cocaine yeah, and steroids yeah. because it was so fun and everyone's like, we just want to keep it because the game is dead. It's, it's dying. Like not going to lie. Yeah. The developers stopped supporting it. It's literally all the yeah. fans that are keeping it alive. So I, I think basically after they did the big old complete edition, they pretty much stopped, right? Yeah. The they had release of the complete edition with everything. Right, yeah. yeah. They they updated some things, like they added Yoda to the original t uh, original trilogy timeline. So when you play um, in that, you can have Yoda and Darth Maul. Um, they also added Scarif as the last map from Rogue One. So uh, they're they're tapped out. They're like, this is the yeah. last update, and everyone's like, yeah. yo, this is really sad. Like I was sad too, but then I kind of stopped playing, and then I was here here and there playing on and off. Um, I just I only played to get Luke's um, farm boy skin from A New Hope and Leia's. A princess skin from A New Hope, um, uh -huh. and Darth Maul's like old master skin from Star Wars Rebels. I and I got all three of those skins and just yeah. stopped playing. And I, I, I saw I, I saw you got that skin. I was like, oh shit, that's wild. Oh that thanks, was wild, that was a wild night. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was crazy. Yeah, you were there. That's right. It was that was crazy, man. I was like, yeah. yo, let's go. Um, so I got those skins and stopped playing. Then started playing again um, uh, when the when the event yeah. happened yeah. and I was like, I can't play this game anymore because I want, I want that epic mode, you know, yeah. cause that was just yeah. so much fun. Um, well, you know, you know, dice, they're all, they're all moving to do all 
Battlefield 6, six right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, sure the, yeah. I'm sure they're working 100% crazy right now to make sure that gets released. Oh, yeah, so. for sure. For sure. So. No doubt. Um, okay. So I have a few other games I'm playing. I, yeah, <laughs> surprisingly, what, what, what I'm playing a lot, which is weird. Uh, no, because I'm good, usually just like, playing. I don't do anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm envious. I mean, yeah, 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 have time yeah. to play games. Well, uh, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Not it's, even just time, but, but you, you force yourself to be interested in to switch games, which is so hard for me right now. You know, yeah. I, I'm, I'm so lackluster or I don't have that excitement that I normally do for games. So, you know, I'm just plodding along in Mass Effect 2. So I'm, I'm glad you're really switching it up. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah. it's. You know, it's been fun because when I started streaming, I didn't expect to play this many games, but I think it is a good way for me to like dig into the backlog and, you know, sync up with people and play games together because I think it's a lot of fun to to not not play just games by yourself because, you know, single player can get boring after a while. While I do like, you know, chatting with people who are, um, you know, stopping by the stream, I also enjoy chatting with people over voice chat and like sharing the same frustrations. Of course. Um, which brings me to the next game, Valorant, which I started playing last <laughs> Wednesday. I started playing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was like, yeah. damn. Like, is this DJP? Uh, no, it's it. I was it. like, going to get some Valorant, <laughs> some Apex, some COD. Let's go. Yeah, so, You're such a dude playing bro Valorant. now. You're such yeah. a dude. Dude. <laughs> dude, I'm such a, like, I'm such a streamer, dude. Like, I'm such a streamer, bro, just playing all these, like, high-profile games that everybody plays. <laughs> this guy's being dudes. Simple as that. Yeah, I mean, well, shout-out to DJB. Daniel, who was playing with me that day, that was thank you for for being there and 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 playing because I I I did okay overall, you know. Yeah, you did. Um, actually. I do. You know? Thank you, thank you. Because because I look up to you. Well, you guys were tell, telling me like, oh, we're gonna be so noob. You have to carry us. You have to carry us. But it's like, honestly, y- you you guys have like the the um the understanding of of like playing shooters and stuff like that you know yeah. so it's and it helps that you guys talk to each other <laughs> yes right yes. you know so it's just a matter of once you get familiar with the game and like the maps which is you know the really the hard yeah the call outs now That's you just make the... your own right Jeremy has <laughs> yeah, own I made my own I made my own <laughs> pieces hot pieces hot yeah it's just like any other game you know it's like once, once you get more familiar with it then you start to feel better at it but it, it, you know yeah. it's not like you guys are super noob because you have like the the technical ability to point and aim and shoot yeah. <laughs> so. yes yeah yeah that's true yeah that's true well thank you man I appreciate that because it was it was frustrating I gotta say and I know I know our buddy Jiro was also getting uh tilted he he literally he admitted to me earlier. He's like, "Yeah, I was getting kind of heated during that game." And I was like, "Okay, it's okay cuz he he's taking a break too." And I was like, "Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine." Um because it's it's tough, you know. It's the kind of game where you play um you I, honestly like the, there are a lot of teams that night, Daniel, who are pretty toxic. Like, I'll be real. You got to love the tryhards. <laughs> yeah, like there are a lot of sweaty people and they, when they know they're good and they just start telling you that they're good, you're like, "Okay, I get it, dude. Come on, man." Like mm-hmm. Calm down. But, like, that that's not just for Valorant. That's Yo, for chill. any game. That's any know? game, really. Any game. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. True. Um, what, so. what do you like more, Apex or Valorant? Currently? Uh, you know, Apex is very frustrating, <laughs> I gotta say. Val- Valorant is... Uh, there's a lot more teamwork involved, which is you nice. You have a lot more people. Yeah, you do. You have more people, but so does the enemy team, and, and that's, that's very helpful. For me... Um, there's a love with Apex that comes with the lore because uh, I'm such a fan of the Titanfall universe. I loved both of the games, two more than one, oh, yeah. simply just because of the well, story. Because it actually had a campaign, so it did. That, that definitely and it, helped. <laughs> and surprisingly, it was really good. Like yeah. I recommend the Titanfall two campaign to everybody it's because one of it's the best ones out it, of last generation. My God, I w- yeah, dude. I was telling that to a friend earlier today. I was like, Titanfall two has the best campaign, especially the loop. Like, Near the, uh, oh, never mind. No, okay, dude. we're not gonna get into it. Yeah, like, yeah. You know. I don't want to like, I, like <laughs> even if you don't like shooters, even if you don't yeah. like single player games, like still try it out because it, it really is, is fantastic. Good. Like, there's some, there's platforming mechanics in there. There's a segment where you just have to platform. Hey, I was yeah, surprised. I know, I know. Don't, 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 don't spoil. It. I, I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. <laughs> it, it, that, that, um, that's a good spot. But yeah, yeah, that's the. Oh, yeah, it's, it, it's, it's good. It's been on sale multiple times recently, so hopefully, yeah. uh, get on that, please. <laughs> and it, they actually had a free weekend last weekend, or a couple weekends weekends ago, because um, the character they were introducing, her name is Valkyrie. Mm-hmm. She has a jetpack and she has rockets. Um, she got introduced in Apex, 
Uh, and her backstory is that she is the daughter of the tertiary bad guy towards the end of the game that you oh, that shit, you defeat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So at, in Titanfall 2, you play a rifleman named Jack Cooper, and you go through this whole campaign with your your with Titan BT. Yeah, yeah. Your, he becomes uh, your best friend. Yeah, because you um, are. Because you are. Yeah, because you are. And God you know. Damn it. Like this, this isn't a spoiler because he not he's not the main bad guy, but you fight a a, uh, a militia or IMC um, bounty hunter named Viper, and yeah. he his daughter eventually joins the Apex Legends, which are a, a games a series of games. Yeah. In um. It's a contest. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. That's cool. Yeah, because like the, the, the this latest season is because of it's the Titanfall season, right? That's why pretty I, much yeah because she took her father's old titan and her, like the wreckage of her tar- father's titan Holy and shit. she made it because like, he, he was a pilot like he flew yeah. in the titan uh she put like the engines in her jetpack and so that's why she can fly in the game and she oh, decided cool. to yeah she decided to inherit the name valkyrie oh, and cool. um and do that so Is that, that was awesome did they released yeah. a cinematic for that because i know they did Oh okay, I I got I'm, I'm behind. I should look that up. I I don't play Apex, but I do like their cinematics. It's good. Yeah, it's on Twitter. Um, okay. there's, that's the place where I watch the cinematic. It's like eight yeah. minutes long, and it's yeah. it's pretty good. There's a character from Titanfall Two that shows up, which I won't spoil for you. Okay, cool, Ryan. cool, cool, cool. Uh, like, you major know, Titanfall Two character. Unlike Overwatch, you know, Apex actually progresses the story. Damn. <laughs> you know, just oh, saying. Damn. That's fire. <laughs> 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 You're not wrong. Sorry, Overwatch fans. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I. Okay. So I gotta it, watch so, it. So yeah, please check it out. Yeah, because I think it it adds a lot of detail and color to the characters. Um, because everybody has this deep backstory, which is so cool. Because like I was talking to Jiro about this, and he was like, "Yeah, dude, like this character does this, this character did that, this character feels this way about this character." I'm like, "Oh wow, I didn't, <laughs> I yeah, didn't know about that." Every season, like you know, depending on the story changes, they'll have different. Uh, call outs to other you know you know other people and it, it's yeah. great because it's like it, it's like a fluid dynamic system and yeah i enjoy that yeah. even though i even though i don't play that game i just right, enjoy right. enjoy the idea of that you know oh yeah for sure and um you know it going back to your original question ryan it it is a frustrating game because you know there are two th- there are a lot of aspects i like both about valorant and apex but for me right now i think because i'm playing apex more and getting better at it i'm enjoying it more i think i need to play valorant uh a lot more to get the full value and and mm-hmm. fun out of playing it I-, I can see myself getting better at valorant um cuz i did pretty decently as uh, as i talked about earlier um yeah. but with apex i do feel like i'm getting better and um, they have a mode called Arenas in Apex, oh. which is basically Valorant and basically CSGO, which is you buy oh, yeah, weapons yeah. in the beginning, yeah. you're in like a small arena, and you just fight the other team. And there's no battle royale aspect other than that there's a shield that slowly closes and, and uh-huh. makes the, the arena smaller. Yeah. Um, so there's that. Uh, and, you know, again, I think Apex is always changing and they're always changing things around. So... I'm finding a lot of enjoyment out of that. Not that I, you know, not that Valorant's doing that. Like mm-hmm. they are doing that. I just, I'm just not up to date on all the news. Yeah, um, of course, of course. Yeah, and um, yeah, I, I think I just need to play Valorant more. But for the time being, I'm enjoying Apex. Um, you heard and... it here for. You heard it here first, folks. He loves <laughs> Apex. Well, now <laughs> we're gonna talk about the other game that I play a lot, Dead by Daylight. Oh, okay. All right, y'all. It's time to leave. I'll see you. <laughs> This has been episode. What, <laughs> what, so, what time is it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so DVD. Yeah. Um, you, I'm actually not going to be complaining about DVD today. I'm actually going to oh, be talking good. some really good things about the game. Um, you came mainly back, because, huh? yeah. Well, there I've had a renewed interest in DVD, I and know. fans there's of the a show specific... would know that you were kind of frustrated for a bit. I was. I was. Yeah. And you know, it's. DBD is uh, is my Valorant for Daniel. It's a game that is always going to be there. I'm always going to play it, but I'm always going to talk shit about it because there's things I don't like about the game, um, and there's things that I do like about the game. Um, but I'm still going to play it. Yeah, exactly. Passionate fans. Like I, I answer all the the surveys they give out. I'm like, uh, they're like, is, like, who do you want to see next? You could be a super fan of something, and that's why you have criticism. Of it. Yeah, sure, yeah. absolutely. No, absolutely. Just and don't that's why I think. The, 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, that's kind of hard to do. Like, I'm or still be toxic about, about it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. You. Yeah. I mean, some developers are actually pretty shitty, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not saying yeah. for DVD. I don't know them. <laughs> no, no, they're they're actually really good developers, but we always rat on them, like just because, like, oh, because like there's things like hit boxes that are terrible for certain killers. Like, for yeah. example, there's a a killer called Huntress, and she has hatchets. She'll throw them at you. You can be five feet away. And the hitbox will still hit the character, and oh, you'll go down. You're like, damn. what? <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. So that's something they need damn. to fix. And obviously, we're like, okay, that's just behavior. The developer's name is behavior. We're like, that's just behavior doing their thing. They haven't fixed it yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, like, we rat on them like that. But, it's not um, a bug. It's a feature. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, but I'm excited for a couple reasons. The first is that uh, Dead by Daylight is going to be having DLC character Ooh. and a killer from Resident Evil this coming Whoa. June. Yeah, so it's been Still hyped sandwich? up secretly. Like, there's a lot of people that are speculating about it. We're, I'm either thinking the killer is going to be Mr. X from uh, uh, from Resident Evil, was it two or three? Two, two, and then uh, Lady or Lady Dimitrescu from from eight because you know obviously for the memes. Yeah, um, <laughs> step on me. Right, right. <laughs> that's if that's her her finisher, I'll be like, oh shit, <laughs> they really like <laughs> went in deep there. Um, they, they know the market <laughs> exactly exactly uh, and I'm thinking the survivor might be either Claire Redfield or uh, Leon or Chris Ada or they might they might give some of the skins to some of the characters yeah. because some of the characters kind of look like Resident Evil characters or like, it like might uniforms? be Jill Valentine Ooh. yeah so there's a lot of good choices Jill Sandwich um, Jill sandwich. Jill, dude, oh my god. Real talk, like like Matt and I used to play a lot of Resident Evil Revelations back when we were in college. <laughs> Those are fun times, man. Yes. Did you guys ever play number two? Like no. Remake or No like... Resident Evil Revelations 2. Oh Revelations 2. See, uh, I played like the first ten minutes of it. Yeah. And it's so like its tone is so much different than one that I just yeah. stopped. <laughs> like, yeah, me dude, dude, me too. Yeah. I have it. I own it on PS4. I, I played it, it like yeah. five minutes and I was like, um, nope, I can't do this. I like yeah, one better. I, I expected more of the same from one and yeah. it's it's so different. They just took the title because it was so popular and said, Yeah, let's I got this other Resident <laughs> Evil. You just game. slap we'll on just revelations if you yeah. if you want to take a risk but don't want to commit. Yeah. <laughs> like, and to, also to the main <laughs> series. Also Sounds about we right. lost the crews, so we can't put any any ship things on there. So exactly. right. We got an right, It's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Um Okay. So yeah, looking forward to the DLC and, and Dead fun. by Daylight. Yeah, it, I think it's going to be a good time, mainly because, uh, you know, this has been hyped up for so long and it's been, people have been wanting this for so long because it just makes sense. Um, Dead by Daylight is a, a crossover house for so many horror franchises that it's, it's you would not see anywhere else. of uh, horror. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And, you know... The thing I like a lot about Dead by Daylight is that they didn't make a sequel. They could have made a sequel by now because the game came out in 2016. Wow. Really? Um, yeah, time. it's been that long. And by this time, other developers would have made a sequel. They would have mm -hmm. made DBD 2, uh, even 3, you know. But the fan base is so passionate and the developers are so passionate about the current iteration of the game that every few updates, they'll just do a graphical update. So right now... Ooh, a nice um, quality the, patch. Nice. Yeah. Exactly. They'll update a bunch of maps. They'll make the graphics um, better looking for like higher end graphics cards. And so, you know, they'll change little things here and there that make the quality of life, um, I think, better for a lot of people. And like they're very streamer friendly. There's a, a, a there's a program you can join um, if you qualify called the Fog Whispers. And it's a uh, it's a developer endorsed program where you can like get insider knowledge. You are uh, like affiliated with the developers. Mm -hmm. You get a little like logo on your stream that oh, says cool. I'm a Fog Whisperer. Um, it's pretty neat. Now, uh, is DLC usually paid for this or for all these like crossover uh, yeah. characters? Yeah. Okay. And yeah, how many yeah. Have you have you personally? I'm sure you've probably answered this before, but... Um, no, I haven't answered that before, actually. Um, well, listener question. Just a few. Hi. So... <laughs> yay, what's up? So to answer your question, Ryan, um, I, <laughs> I haven't bought a lot of DLC with my own money. I actually just buy it with in-game currency oh, okay. because I play it so much that, you know, it just makes sense to buy with all the points I saved up. Nice. Um, yeah, good. yeah. It's good um, that they could uh, reward you with... Uh, in in game points, so you know you feel like okay, I will maybe throw a couple bucks here or there, but 
you're still, you know, supporting them. That's awesome. Oh yeah, for sure. Thanks, man. Um, and, uh, the other big reason why I started getting back into DVD is because, uh, I, I became friends with this streamer on Twitch, and yeah, he's from know. Japan. Yeah, we know. Okay, <laughs> maybe you don't know. Maybe maybe you know, but other people might not know. Yeah. Um, I, I think maybe Daniel might know as well. Um, his name is Jiro, which is, happens to be another mutual friend of ours. Um, so <laughs> the story goes, one time I was trying to find Jiro's stream just by like typing it on the search bar. Um, just because like sometimes it doesn't save in my search history, so I have to like type it in Twitch. So went to Twitch, typed in Jiro, saw this guy's name in hiragana, which is one of the uh, writing styles in Japan. And I was like, oh, I wonder who, who this guy is. Yeah. You know, and I kept ignoring it every time. One day I just got curious, clicked on it. He was playing Dead by Daylight. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And uh, his title said JP slash EN, which means that he speaks Japanese and English. So uh -huh. I was like, oh. Um, so I said hi in his chat. And he's like, oh, hello, hello. And then we started chatting in English a little bit more. And then one day, I was like, yo, let's play DBD together. So I wasn't streaming at the time. I just played DBD with him. Um, in fact, I actually played DBD with him earlier before this podcast started. Wow. <laughs> um, so uh, it's a trip, man, because uh, I get to practice my Japanese a little bit. And also, um, he gets to practice his English. Um, I have this new renewed feeling about Dead by Daylight. And, you know, I got to say, playing on the English servers, on the U.S. servers, I should say, um, it's pretty sweaty. <laughs> and whenever somebody with an Asian uh, username comes in, we automatically assume they're just going to kill all of us nice. in, like, one go. Nice. Um, but so when I play with him, because he's the host, I play on the Japanese servers. Yeah. And they're not bad. They're actually pretty easy nice. <laughs> to play on because the, the people – I don't know why, but, like, it's just easier for me to play and, like, get leveled up faster and all that stuff. Do you so. think it's, like, a mental block, like, knowing that you're playing people, like – from another, you know, away from all the sweaty English dudes, you know? You know... It might be mental blocking. You're just flowing a lot better. I, I don't think so. I think it's just because <laughs> I was f away from the game for so long. Yeah. And then I came back to it. And then I kind of knew what I was doing. And so I would just do all these things that I would normally do. But for some reason, it would just work better <laughs> on the Japanese Damn, servers. all right, master. I, I know, right? And so now I feel like I'm cheating because I, you know, I would always report the, the VPN players that would come in from Asia to our side. Um, and now I'm the VPN player wow. <laughs> going to the Asia side. Wow. <laughs> you hear that? He's one so of those like, guys. <laughs> don't report me. Don't report me. <laughs> now I'm admitting it on, on, on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, that's awesome, though. So, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so that's that's the reason why I've been playing a lot more Dead by Daylight. Um, so two more games I want to talk uh, about real quick. Um, uh, Attack on Titan 2 Final Battle is yeah. um, a game made by Koei Tecmo o yeah. Omega Force, who you guys might know as the developers of the Dynasty Warriors series. Hell yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah they, they created an, an Attack on Titan game. Two, actually. This is the second one. Yeah. That covers the first season and all the way up to season three. I am a pretty big fan of the Attack on Titan franchise. Nice. I don't own any like merch or anything, but Me neither. Um, I, I went to the ride in Universal Studios Japan. Oh, that sweet. was kind of cool. That's oh, cool. Nice. I didn't even know they had the ride. Wow. It was more like a stage play. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of well, weird. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So is it sort of like uh, the Terminator Judgment Day style, you know? From yes. Rome? Okay. Yes, exactly cool. like Except that. Wow. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. you know? That's cool. Oh, now, yeah. Now, when you bought Attack on Titan 2, did you buy the complete game of the year edition? Oh, no. Dude, that was Dude, so expensive. I, I, oh, I was looking no, at prices no, no. as well because, you know, I, I was going to pull the trigger because I did get the, the first game because they had it for only like $20 on Xbox. And it was sure, full, sure. But I was looking at the second, yeah, number two. It's like a hundred and something dollars. Like, God damn. Yeah, because you get all the costumes, you get yeah. all of the the the, the schoolgirl outfits and the maid outfits and the business suits. I'm like, what the hell? But is I this? want all of that. But it costs. I mean, way too hey much. man, <laughs> <laughs> they just need a hot tub DLC, yeah, and then I'll be in there. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, oh, but you, Jeremy. Yes. <laughs> and so, how is uh, it? It's fun, you know. It, it feels like Spider Man, like the old Spider Man games, when you're like swinging through oh, the city classic, because yeah. you have the ODM gear. You're just swinging through yeah. all the districts. Um, 
it it obviously it follows the anime but it kind of inserts your character into certain scenes and oh, it's kind of weird because it feels like you're watching the show but then your character will show up and you're like oh this is this is weird but that's cool because um, if you already watch the show and you see that cutscene it's like oh sweet like how they all right yeah. yeah yeah but then the main characters start talking to you and you're like oh okay <laughs> I wasn't in the show. <laughs> yeah, like I wasn't here when that happened, but all right. Is the, is the swing a bit more easier compared to one? Because I, I did play one, so... Oh, really? Never played one. I, I can't okay. tell you the difference. Okay. But um, everything seems more fluid. Everything okay. is, uh, like, user-friendly. It just feels better. Also, uh, it might be because like, I'm using controller compared to, like... P- I assume you're playing on PC? I'm playing on controller on PC, actually. Oh, okay. Hmm, okay. Yeah. So I, I'm yeah. excited then. I'm going to just wait for a sale <laughs> Okay. Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's you know this game came out like a few years ago, I think mm-hmm. 2017, mm-hmm. Yeah. and it was like it's still full price, which is surprising. But I bought yeah. it for 40 bucks on sale, and it yeah. wasn't bad. Yeah, it's good. You get so you get a lot of hours in the game because they have like a retake, retake this area mode where you have to like play missions, and it kind of reminds me of, um, I guess. Star Wars. Super Smash Brothers uh, Ultimate in yeah. the single player mode where you have to like, you know, do certain missions and execute certain goals. Um, mm. So there's that, which is infinite replayability almost, it seems. Uh, there's the main story. Uh-huh. But then there's an online mode where you can just replay story missions and do that whole campaign thing I was talking about uh, and uh, with friends. Uh, it's kind of clunky, but it works for the most part. Um, one feature I'd like to highlight is that you can change the name and look and gender of your character whenever you want. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, I love that. The height as well. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. It's like Animal Crossing where you can just go to the mirror and change your look. Uh, And in this game, you just go to your bunk and then just change your character. Um, Yeah, because side side note, I I was playing Cyberpunk and you can't do that and I got so mad. But yeah. I'm I'm glad I'm glad that's on Attack on Titan too because like I love when because <laughs> like I feel like when I'm at a certain story I I sort of switch it up because like you know maybe I've learned something you know I, I really kind of role play whatever yeah. character I'm doing so like okay maybe I right. got a, like a even cooler haircut or like, got a cool scar now you know because yeah, yeah 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 that's awesome though thanks yeah um so my initial character I was just trying to make it like with a name Maru because that's uh-huh. my, my handle online. I was like, Oh, I'm going to make some Japanese anime name with nice. the word Maru in it. And I, I, so I made it and I made this cute girl. I tried to make her, you know, a little bit on the thick side. Cause I was like, we got to represent some, <laughs> Yo, some of the other demographic. Out. <laughs> Turns out you can't do that what? because you have, to, <laughs> the, apparently the characters have to be fit enough to carry their own weight on the ODM gear, which makes wow. sense. Right. So um, not in my time. No, they just they just didn't have bandwidth to make more models. Yeah, yeah. Hey, there you go. There you go. Uh, that's Shout the excuse. Out. I call BS. Shout out to Texas Creed Unity. <laughs> that's um, awesome. So yeah, so you know, I, I didn't really like the character look and design. I was like, okay, uh-huh. I kind of want to change it. And I was just shooting the shit with some friends, and there, and I was telling them like back in the day. My cousin had an Xbox and he had Def Jam Fight for New York. Yo. Um, and so there was a character creator in there. Yeah. And we de- we w- decided to make the character look exactly like one of our uncles. <laughs> and we did, except for the fact that he- we gave him a high-pitched voice, which was hilarious. Because, oh, yo, what's up, man? How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck you so up. imagine this, like, really big Filipino dude with, like, a high-pitched yeah. voice. And that's what we got in the game. And so my friends are like, yo, you should make your Attack on Titan character look just like that. I'm like... <laughs> Okay, I tried. It doesn't look the same, but um, the so my my uncle, yeah, my uncle's name is Uncle Jim, and so oh, in yeah. in the Attack on Titan two, the characters will refer to me as either Uncle or Jim. They're like, "Yo, Uncle, that was a nice hit." And I was like, "Oh, thanks." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the same age as them. I'm like, "All right, cool." Hell yeah, <laughs> Uncle is everyone's uncle. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I'm the uncle for everybody, even though we're all the same age. It's all cool, right? <laughs> it's like Tito from uh, Rocket Power. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly he's everybody's tito <laughs> um so that's what i've been playing um i'm like in the story now there's a lot of spoilers <laughs> in the game ba- just based on weapons alone like there's certain weapons that just spoil future seasons i'm like this is not good why would you include this like i think they just presume I, you're a fan already yeah like hey you already yeah watched, that's the thing you already read yeah. the manga yeah it's like you already played the game you're probably reading the manga and you're watching the anime it's all good it's all good but like you know, for for someone like 
our our buddy Jiro, who's playing the game for the first time, who hasn't seen all the seasons, uh, he's like, "Why is this in there?" And I was like, "Oh, uh, that's actually a spoiler." Oh, he has it? Yeah. I presumed he was playing yeah. because he has. Oh wow! No, he, he, like oh. he he's he's catching up, but like there's something from season four that shows up in in the first like few few missions in the game. I'm like, yeah. "What is that doing there?" And he's like, "I don't know why that's there." I'm like, "Yeah, that's a spoiler. Like that's don't, actually not good." Don't worry about <laughs> this. Don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, don't think about don't it. Answer like, it. All right. Just change tabs. We'll yeah. find your favorite hot tub and we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. So I've been playing that. It's fun. Um, highly recommend it, especially if you're a fan of the anime or yeah, the manga. I can't, I can't wait to play cool. it. I just got to wait for a yeah, holiday dude. sale. Yeah. Dude, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Hey, if you find one, let me know too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the last game I'm playing on my list is a Yakuza game called Yakuza Dead Souls. It takes place between uh, Yakuza's 4 and 5. And uh, you're basically, it's non-canon, so there's a lot of things in the game that I think the devs took some creative liberties with. I love watching uh, you play this game. Dude, it, it's hilarious. Okay. It's, you know, it's frustrating. <laughs> I, I know, but I love the storyline. At least the storyline is good. In my yeah. opinion. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And I was I was echoing these complaints to to Daniel in a previous podcast. Um but to to kind of reiterate and do a little TLDR TLDW, I guess, uh, or TLD L. <laughs> um I fix it in post. Uh yeah. Um I I like I like the look because it feels like a Yakuza game. Uh, I think the story is really interesting because there's a lot of questions that they will probably have answers to once the game starts to close. Um, there's a lot of characters that, you know, especially for me, that are fan favorites, which come in and they do certain things. And, uh, you know, they it just feels like a Yakuza game. Yeah. But the gameplay mechanics are just clunky and weird and terrible. Um, it's a fun game <laughs> if you don't think about anything. Yeah. Um, but it's trying to be too many things at one time. And I think that's where it falls short, uh, because it's trying to be a Yakuza game. It's trying to be an action game. Uh, and it's trying to have all these other side stuff, but all the other side stuff just turns into fetch quests, like rescue this person from in here, uh, get this for me from in there, like do this. And it all leads back into like this quarantine zone, which grows bigger every time, which is where all the zombies are. Oh, did it? Oh, and, I didn't know uh, that part. That's cool. Yeah. Like every mission is like, go into the quarantine zone and get this person and bring them back here or get this thing and bring it back to us. Yeah. It's so annoying. And yeah. like, it, it bothers me so much. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's not my favorite thing, but yeah. I'm, I'm playing that game. I'm trying to finish it um, just to say that I, I finished all the uh, English Yakuza releases, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, so been playing that and uh, yeah, it's it's been all right. It's been all right. How's your uh, new how's your PS3? Uh, it's still in great condition. Yeah. Uh, did I ever say that? I think I, you I told did. you, you did. You did. Uh, uh, OK, uh, oh, yeah. my follow up question really is uh Sure. W- would you ever uh, switch out that hard drive for SSD? Just no. for pr- preservation, if you had any actual d- digital games. I-, I know, like, the shutdown. There's not shutting it down anymore. But, like, right, right. you know, when that news story did come up months ago, you know, I was yeah. thinking of my 360, which is the reason why I- that's when I found out my Mass Effect 2 save wasn't there. So that's why right. I'm-, I'm really making sure all my backups for my 360 are in place. But, Which is a good habit, by the way, guys. Like, yeah. always back up your game files, yeah. back up your saves. It's yeah. always a good thing to do that. Yeah, oh, that, sure. is, that um, is me now in yeah. quarantine. Because in mm-hmm. quarantine, I just found myself... Because I was, like, unemployed for, like, a good amount of time. So I just found myself backing up pretty much everything yeah. I own. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. dude, any that's game, awesome. Any physical games yeah. I own, I try to dump. Any kind of, like, digital games, I try to back up. Save yeah. files, try to convert save files into some sort yeah. of digital media. Yeah. I'm terrible there, at that. I need to do that oh, more often. Man. <laughs> oh, dude, Daniel, you got to do it. Daniel, Daniel you I, have I know, to do it. I know man. we talked about this, and I think I talked to you, Jeremy, about you know back. Yes. And, yeah, but uh, you got to do it. Just. I saw the appeal. I yeah. I, I I remember like Bernie Burns would talk about it on the Rooster Teeth podcast. Yeah. Anything yes. that should be digital, sh- like that can be digital, should be digital. Like, just in yes. case, you could still like own physical things, but in the event that you don't have that physical thing anymore. It's nice mm-hmm. to have some sort of like yeah. non-physical way of preserving it, I guess. Yeah, I agree. yeah. I, mean, I I thought about buying because I have a physical copy of uh, Yakuza Dead Souls, and I yeah. thought about buying the digital version because it's only twenty bucks. Yep. But I'm like, okay, I, how 
how is this going to be justified? Like, how long am I going to keep this like save file for? How long, how long am I going to keep this this yeah. game for? But you bring up a good point, Ryan, is that I think in the future I might have to swap it out. I don't know how old the hard drive is. Hard drive is, yeah. but the previous owners rarely used it for gaming. From my, what I understand, they only used it to watch DVDs, yeah. so they never saved anything to it. Um, I don't think they were the most tech savvy people because when I got it, like they, yeah. he just dumped it on me. Like he didn't have a, a user profile. It was literally only to watch DVDs. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I think the hard drive is still in good condition. Yeah. But there's always that fear in the back of my mind that it'll happen I because know. it has happened before. Yeah. Um. And, you know, going back to what you mentioned just now, Backblaze, I, upon your recommendation, I actually started using it. Yeah. And all my files are backed up. Do, uh, uh, I love do, it. Do you know? This off, isn't a plug. Yeah, I know. Do, do you know <laughs> off the top of my head how, 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 your, your storage size? Because you probably Dude. have a lot more than me because I probably only had four terabytes worth of stuff. Dude, are you, okay, are you ready for this? Yeah. This is this is crazy. Do it. Um, I have 20 terabytes. 20? Jesus. Okay, wow. Yeah. See, yes, see, yes. And that's the reason why I recommended it to you because I knew you you would have a way more stuff to back up than me. So. It's, dude, like <laughs> looking at it, it's it's all like old video yeah. files from college, yeah. from before college, like with little cousins, like video projects I've been doing over the years, like like that whole Terrace House parody thing I did. Mm-hmm. Like it's all this stuff. It's crazy. Yeah. Like all the, and it, feels like, good, you know, and it feels good to have it, does. it as a, sec- a oh my God. place, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it does. Like, like, like something my dad always tells me is, if you're gonna back up files, back it up digitally, like via the cloud, yeah. and also on a physical s- yeah. storage space, like twice. Yes. Like, like one time over the cloud, and twice on two different hard drives, because yeah. he's like, one's gonna fail for sure. Like, oh, yeah. they get old, and I'm like, okay, okay. So, uh, unfortunately, I don't have the money to get uh, another twenty terabyte yeah, physical hard because I have no. one twenty terabyte physical hard drive that was six hundred dollars on sale, which is one of the, normally went that's for eight hundred dollars. I'm never gonna buy it ever again. Yeah, like, I know. That's, honestly, yeah. Backblaze is much better. Yeah, it, it has a nice user interface. Yeah, once again, this is not sponsored, but like, no, not at all. <laughs> I, you know, I, hashtag not spawn. It's just. These these are memories that you want to keep forever, and you gotta find ways to make. Yeah, sure. if I could convert Ryan to digital, I would. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting there, bud. Thanks. We're getting there. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. So that's crazy. damn, um, damn, that's a lot, dude. Yeah, I thought my cause my four terabytes is you know old um, memories that my parents converted from DVD, and then I converted mm-hmm. that to digital, and then. Oh yeah. So yeah, a lot of lo- low res stuff, but like, and then yeah, it's only four terabytes, but. Yeah. Yeah, me and my girlfriend, we just went, uh, there was a Costco sale for like an eight terabyte uh, hard drive. I forget for how much, but we were just like, yeah. you know what? Why not? Because yeah. Yeah. we could just put everything on it. Yeah. And, yeah. Peace of mind, Daniel. Peace of mind, man. Until that physical drive breaks, then no yeah. peace of mind. <laughs> I, I like gambling with all my memories and data. So I'm gonna <laughs> oh, <know>. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. No, yeah. you know what? I, I bought, like, because I, when I was a kid, I used to record a lot of shit on um, uh, cassette tapes, which is kind of why yeah. my logo for my stream is a cassette tape. But, um, is that really the story? What? Uh, for exclusive. The most part, yeah. Exclusive. <laughs> but, um, Downtime exclusive. Downtime. But, yeah, like, so I, I bought, like, a, a cassette player to gi- digitize all those cassette yes. tapes that I yes. have. But uh, you know they're just sitting in my in, in a in a box collecting dust right now because you know I'm just kind of like eh. things deteriorate man Some, you someday make sure. I know sure. I know and I know I feel, you guys are making me feel bad for the fact that like I need to get on like just digitizing and backing things up and double backing you gotta things up. Got to put it on the up. calendar, bro. It, it's the only way to force yourself. <laughs> it's true. It's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's true. All right, I, yeah. I will do it. I will commit. To backing all my shit up, I need okay, to back so up next, my PC hard drive. So next, <laughs> next time you're here on this podcast, you should be halfway done with with this. Then I'm not saying do the well, whole thing. I'm just saying do do parts of it. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean it, it starts with first of all buying the hard drive. Yeah, because that's the first commitment. Yeah. And you know it can be daunting because there's so many different brands that have so many different prices. Yeah, but. I mean, honestly, if you can get like WD or Seagate, like those are the best. Oh yeah, brands. Oh, no, what we got from sure. Costco, Seagate. Seagate's good. Yeah, 
there you go. So, I mean, I recommend those. And they're, like, if you want to be really nuanced, you can look up like hard drive lifespans to see which WD or which Seagate will live the longest. But I mean, it's all arbitrary because it doesn't. They're all gonna die, and like you could end up buying a lemon on accident. Like you don't know, mm-hmm. you know. Um, yeah, I'm pretty I, good though with warranties. But yeah, yeah. I I have a six terabyte Western Digital, um, and uh, I f- but I pretty much just use that for like when I'm video editing and uh, you know um, yeah just because that that takes up a lot of space. Of course, uh, yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah, so I guess I, I really should just bite the bullet and just invest in some big ass hard drive like you guys yeah. have, and or just another one at least. Another I'll six go to terabyte, your house and so. help you. Wait, I have a question. Since you and Jeremy stream, do you guys save your VODs and back them up, or do you just leave them onto it? I'm just curious. This is a genuine question I have. For m- Go ahead, Daniel. For me, I try to. I tend to forget sometimes, though, and I feel bad when I do. Um, uh, but uh, I am. I, I. I do eventually want to like make copies and back them up in the hard drives. But for now, I st- I just save them and they're just sitting on my you know my PC drive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. That's great. I mean, it at least it's somewhere, you know? It's not like cuz it's going to get deleted eventually. Right. But at least it's somewhere, right. right? Yeah. Um So, I'm kind of a crazy person. I I usually yeah. save them immediately after my stream of because I know I'm going to forget. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm also another I'm also a crazy person because another thing I did was I bought a 14 terabyte internal hard drive for my PC yes. because I want to consolidate of everything. You would. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and so I literally have all of the stuff that I am working on and also some stuff that I need to back up on this 14 terabyte hard drive. Mm-hmm. And I always, always, always back up my Twitch VODs to this drive. And because I have Backblaze, they automatically get updated into the Backblaze servers mm-hmm. after a few hours. So, um, you know, the, the VOD file can be anywhere from 5 gigabytes to 14, depending on how long I'm streaming for. Um, but for because I have a good internet connection and because the hard drive is fast, because it's like a, like a 256 um, write speed or something, I forget what, but like uh, it, it's, it's easy and fast to upload to the Backblaze servers. So I'm technically not backing it up physically, but digitally I am backing it up. In a yeah. way, um, but what about you, Matt? Do you do you back up your vods? See, okay. When I started, I was backing them all up, and then I reached a point where I'm like, <laughs> I don't like that stream, so I just don't like it. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Dude, so now I I've got it to a point where I'm like super self-critical, where I'm like, no, no, that was no. all right, stream. I don't need to. I don't need to Relatable. remember this one. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, and I know dude, some people yeah. would regret it because, like, sometimes no, they're just no, like, no. But what you do, Matt, is for those streams you don't like, you, you back it up, but then you upload it to YouTube, and then you delete everything associated with that. So you still have it on YouTube. I should lo- just like, yeah. yeah, back it up and then put it somewhere. Yeah, so. and, then, and then delete that shitty backup. <laughs> Yeah, like for me, like eventually I'm going to run out of hard drive space. Yeah. Uh, when that time comes, I'm going to have to delete some VODs I just don't care about because they're all backed up on the cloud. So it's, what it's, there it's for. all good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but like, you know, I while I do agree with you, Matt, like at the same time, I, I feel like I don't need to be backing up every single VOD because the intention in the beginning was to make clips and highlights from these VODs. Make content. And... Yeah, and I've been really bad about doing that recently. Like, I don't post them to Twitter. I've been slacking on putting them on Instagram. It's tough. Um, it's tough to keep up with it all is. that stuff, you know? Yeah. No, I'm glad you feel that way, too, yeah. because, like, I when I when I try to make a clip, like, nowadays, I just go into Twitch, and I look at the VOD, and I just clip it from in Twitch and download the file, because it's faster than, like, getting the file, putting it into uh, an NLE, like, like Adobe Premiere, and then editing it there, because my hard drive has to read it, um, my, uh, my computer has to catch up with the speed, then I have to export it, but, I want the but then I notice that, vid. like, my... 
Jerry. Yeah, but like my computer is like it, <laughs> uh, dude. I know, but the computer is is getting old now. You know, he's an old man, and he's taking some time to yeah. process the videos in it. Premiere. I get it. It take it takes a while to when I press spacebar to play the video in the timeline. It takes a little bit to load. Not gonna lie, because <laughs> these videos are like five hours long, right? And yeah, so. Girl, girl. It is easier, but for me, the convenience of having it on Twitch to just download the content off of Twitch in a bite-sized format is much faster than going into an editing software. But the editor in me is dying because I'm like, why did I download this if I'm not going to use it? Is it just for backups? Who knows? It's just there. Like, am I a crazy person? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, so you're that's a crazy my story. person. <laughs> oh, bro. Say, say it again to me slower. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, yeah. How about we move on to some news, y'all, and then we'll close it out. Right. It's getting it's getting to the two-hour mark. Oh, is we've, it? We've okay. Having, okay. Yeah, we've been having a good conversation, though. I've been, I'm liking this. Music interlude now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Uh, so we, we have two two pieces of news here. The first is that... Famicom Detective Club has released for the Nintendo Switch nice. today. Nice. Um, you know, Matt, when I saw this, I immediately, th- I immediately thought of you. Is this a game that you're interested in? It is only be- if you asked me like maybe years ago, I probably wouldn't have been. But I, well, okay, like in the early 2000s, I I got into visual novels basically like through the Ace Attorney series, and then. As I got older, I got into, like, I was talking about how, like, I've been going out and playing old classics, like, playing, like, things like Donkey Kong Country or playing, like, Metroid, like, games that, quote-unquote, everybody's played, but, like, I really have <laughs> not played them, <laughs> like, yeah. and then, yeah. like, I, I genuinely had stumbled upon, like, the originals of uh, Famicom, like, Detective Club, and, like... I, I had backlogged them, but I didn't actually play them yet. Yeah. So then I, when I had found out that they're bringing them to the Switch, I was like, okay, it all well, nice. I might as well just <laughs> wait for this one. <laughs> yeah, and that's how I feel about beautiful. a lot of games, to be honest. Is like, yeah, like, I always feel like I, I, I need to find a way to play a game, and then somehow there's like a port coming for it. <laughs> uh, going back to the Ace Attorney series, that's a game that actually I'm excited for, was... Uh, there are these two games in the Ace Attorney series. Uh, they were called uh, Dai Gakuten Saiban. They are the, the greater Ace Attorney, right? And they were largely thought never to come to the States, but they're coming out in July because oh, really? they use characters like uh, from the Sherlock Holmes series. But like for Japan, I guess it's fine to use those characters. But like if they try to do it internationally, you have to deal with like the like Conan right. Estate. And I guess because... The character of Sherlock Holmes is kind of in this weird gray area where he's like kind of public domain and kind of not. Yeah. He's right, like, right. They, they argue that the most recent works of him, like that humanizes character, are still under copyright. Therefore, you can't use the character because you are, if he has emotions, then you're, yeah. you're in that area. <laughs> Which it, to me is really dumb. But, anyways, like, and then they were coming out because they, they came up with a workaround. And the workaround was like uh, there was this like uh, this French novel like Lupin like the uh, oh the Lupin the Third. oh Lu- Lupin Sansei yeah. Lupin the Third. He, yeah there was dude. a there was a crossover or not like some sort of, like it was like Lupin versus Herlock Holmes which Hell, was like yeah. they oh. wanted to use the real character of Sherlock Holmes but they couldn't because of similar reasons yeah. so he just switched the constant and said like it's a new character but he he wrote it like it was Sherlock Holmes like. By anyone who read those books, it is Sherlock Holmes. So that character in his book is public domain now. Oh, nice. So those games, like the the Ace Attorney is using that same, like they're paying homage to that, saying, fine, you can't let us use this character. We're going to do the same thing. Hell <laughs> his name yeah. is Herlock Show. <laughs> Hell yeah, I didn't know this. Dude. This is awesome. then, like, that's how I feel like. So like, I think it's amazing, like, like, classics like that game and or like games that are quote unquote like impossible like or like thought to be like I like it when things are like old classics that are like getting like a fresh coat of paint or like being reintroduced. That's cool. Especially. We see that a lot with like even like Final Fantasy 7 remake or Resident Evil 2 remake and I think it's sure. cool to kind of like yeah, true. breathe new life into old stuff. 
Yeah, you get new audiences introduced to a series that you know was is, is a classic, but maybe they didn't want to play because maybe the uh, the mechanics are too outdated, or maybe the the game doesn't look as beautiful as it does now. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I'm all for remakes and remasters as long as they stay faithful and truthful to the original material. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Seriously. So. Um. What about you, Ryan and uh, Daniel? Would you guys get Famicom Detective Club? Well, seeing as I don't have a... Well, okay, I guess I could... Not yet. I'm just going to watch Matt. <laughs> <laughs> just over his shoulder, just watching yeah, him play. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I think I'm with you, Ryan. Uh, I I mean, I, I missed out on a lot of those games when I was yeah. younger, so I, you know, uh, I the nostalgia factor isn't really there for me. Um the so i guess that that would be primarily where the interest would lie for me so i yeah i mean i would just be more curious to see um uh others others stream it all right so i gotta get the game i'll stream it and i'll be like in my best anime girl uwu voice <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Do> it, yeah. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of bits from me from that <laughs> yeah um dude yeah i mean on a personal note uh Matt was actually the person that kind of encouraged me and introduced me to the Phoenix Wright series. So my love for those games will always be associated with him. I mean, for Christmas one year, I even got him like that, the poster. Did you still have that poster, Matt? I do. I also have, nice. you got me like, it. Uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like the mat for like, let's say like your mouse or like your computer and stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I still have awesome. that that's in my room. That's <laughs> like, awesome. Right oh, nice. But yeah, I still yeah. have the poster. I hung it up somewhere. Oh, nice. Yeah, because, you know, he's such a huge fan, and then I, I became a fan of the series as well, played all the games. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited for the new, um, the new yeah, uh, cool. Phoenix Wright game. Yeah, yeah, and, I, I you know, this game reminds me a lot, uh, this game being Famicom Detective Club, reminds me a lot of the Phoenix Wright game. So I'm definitely interested. I don't think I'll buy it yet because I want the whole package, which is 60 bucks. Oh, is it? I'm going to wait for the... Yeah, it is. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for the price to drop. Okay. Um, because uh, you know, I'm a patient gamer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Hashtag patient I gamers. I tell that to oh, people yeah. with Ace Attorney too. Like Ace Attorney, don't buy it for full price. It goes on sale like several times a year. I mean, it's ca- yeah. <laughs> so it's just like it's Capcom. Yeah. yeah. Yep. For sure. For sure. Yep. Um. So yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be fun. Yeah. It's gonna be a good game. Yeah. Uh. Uh, and the last bit of news I have is that Starfield is going to be a little bit more um, rumor. PC and rumor. Xbox exclusive. Right, rumor. Well, I mean, I think it's justified simply because, yeah. you know, Microsoft, Bethesda. Microsoft, uh, yeah, Xbox bought all Bethesda. So, yeah, exactly. And exactly. the rumors uh, are still going out that it'll probably still be PC, I guess the X Cloud, and then Xbox consoles. It might not even be Xbox right. One consoles. It might just be all the Xbox Series consoles. So yeah, which, yeah, 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 which will be wild. But like, you know, Skyrim in space supposedly is what I'm assuming it's gonna be. Sounds awesome to me. Yeah, I, that I don't. Sound awesome. I don't actually like Skyrim, which is weird. But like the idea of something, a space setting, sounds awesome to me because I, I like all the space games. So, you know. Yeah. I, I never personally played Skyrim, and everyone's like, what, you haven't played it? And I'm yeah. like, yeah, I haven't. Because like, I played Morrowind and Oblivion basically back-to-back, oh, and I kind of got burnt out. And then, I don't know, for I some reason, Morrowind, the hype for Skyrim... By the way. Morrowind is great, honestly. It's, Oblivion it's is a all fantastic right, but Morrowind, game. man. I, Morrowind I was playing is that, was uh, the OG Xbox version, which is crazy, because I went back to it maybe like a year ago. It is... Because it's backwards compatible on the Xbox, and it's like, oh my oh, god. Oh, wow. I can't believe I played these. I mean, they made it really nice now because sure. they did like a nice, nice update to it. But it was like, I can't believe I played it this way. It's like four, three. They can't even stretch it out because they're using their OG yeah. code. <laughs> it's so dated. Yeah, I'm like, oh, my <laughs> God. But yeah, I love Morrowind anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that that it's great. It's a. It's a great game. Um, I'm so good. But yeah, I never got into Skyrim. Yeah. And I, I, yeah, I'm with you, Ryan. I really like the the sci-fi theme. Yes. And I, I hope that this is going to be a good one. Yes. Like, 
maybe it'll have ship to ship, planet to planet combat, yeah. similar to No Man's Sky. That's what I'm hoping. No Man's Sky. But you never know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we'll see. You know, it. You know, they. they uh, Todd Howard. You know, he said. You know, I think. You know, when it was like what Fallout Four, he prefers the short term PR release before they. You know, when they announce the game. So hopefully. If it is coming out this year, we'll. I mean, E3 is coming up next month, right? So. Oh right. Yeah. So. Yeah. The, yeah. You know, it's May. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> next month is E3. You know, a lot of companies are announcing that they're going, but they, no one's has said really their plans. So, I I think it's still all online. I, I'm not sure. It's wild to me because like yeah. last year, like people wanted E3 to die. Yeah. And then people realize, oh shit! Yeah. Like in quarantine, people want an activity that they don't need to like go out in yeah. the world, and like gaming kind of like yeah. I mean, increased. Like I know the reason why wow. people wanted E three to die was because they were leaking all those you know people's like addresses and stuff. But like other than that, we really need E three, <laughs> or at least some event that could like have a lot of publishers yeah. tout their shit. Because like we're kind of starving right, right now, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Sure. Sure. I mean, I have a big backlog, so I'm never starving. But. Yeah, I, well, on the point of, like, people are starving, I also feel like, at least for a lot of, like, developers, it's just, like, there was, there was like, this large interest in gaming yeah. because of quarantine, but also because a lot of developers had to, like, work from home and stuff like that. Like, there wasn't as much... Visibility. Yeah, and, like, they couldn't make mo- more product to meet that kind of interest and demand, I guess. Yeah. Man, yeah, E3. It's about a month, so it's, hmm. yeah. Hopefully, announce a lot of Need cool some games. Big announcements now. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, you know what? Uh, uh, Konami just uh, announced that you're gonna get Metal Gear Solid Four off of the PS3. Thank you very much. Hey. That's really all you have to do, Konami. That's really all you have to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. I miss uh, Hideo Kojima. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, Death Stranding did all right, I guess. Yeah. I'm not sure if it was the big old seller that his studio and Sony wanted, but it seemed like the people who really liked it really liked it, so good on them. Yeah. Still haven't played it yet, but, you know, whatever. Me neither. Yeah, me neither. That's that's in my backlog. Yeah. Same. Yeah, it's, like, deep in my backlog, because yeah. I don't think I'll touch it anytime yeah. soon. Yeah, but, I, yeah. yeah, you see those Monster Energy drinks, though? In the game, so lifelike. Oh wow! <laughs> the product placement is real. Like Conan O'Brien's in the game. I know. Like, I so know. random. No, no product placement will be worse than Olive Garden and Sonic the Hedgehog in the movie. Is it? Oh, is it really? Oh, my God. When you're yeah, because he's like when you're here, your family. It's like what? Oh, line oh, as no. a line, and it is the worst yep. product placement I've ever wow. seen. Wow, that does wow. sound terrible though. It's almost as bad like a Man of Steel when they're fighting in, in Denny's. Was it Denny's or IHOP? I think it was Denny's. Oh, who knows, yeah. man? <laughs> ah, yeah. That's a whole... Yeah. Something like but that. But anyway, but E3's coming, and uh, I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, Same. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, I, you know, you you guys did mention uh, a couple podcasts about G4 is back, so hopefully we'll have a nice TV channel slash streaming setup for them to do stuff. So I want cool the G4 jingle for E3 to come back. Oh, my God. The one that's like a... yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like it's the a rock. parody of that song that's like, uh, oh, I love that one. Believe it or not, I'm walking on it. Like, that yeah. is a parody of that song. I love that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, oh, man, that's a classic uh, commercial. I didn't look at that commercial. Yeah. It's really funny. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to see games, you know? Especially because, like, Microsoft, you know, they have all these studios, but, like, it'll probably be years before they actually start <laughs> delivering on them. <laughs> so it's like, what do you got? Right. I, I, you know, right. I'm, I'm, I'm the, the resident Xbox fan, but like, you know, there's not a lot of games on the horizon yet. So it's like to be continued. So, you know, but, at, but regardless, I still mainly play mainly third party games. So it really doesn't matter to me anyway. So as the resident Nintendo fan, that's how I feel about the switch. Oh. Everyone wants a switch and there's no games. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're waiting for the switch HD now. Clearly. There's just nothing for the next few months. I know. It's fine. We got our backlogs. <laughs> yeah, this is true. This is true. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool, guys. All right. Well, you know, we hit the two-hour mark. Oh, shit. I think we. Yeah, I think we need to close it out soon. I, I don't want to take any more of your guys' time. What? People um, don't drive like two-hour 
traffics. <laughs> they, they need these podcasts. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, that's true. Everyone's that's true. Getting vaccinated the, the, now. It's I'm not going back to work. <laughs> it's not the length of the podcast. It's your guys' time that I'm oh, trying to be mindful okay. of. You're so you're so, <laughs> you're so kind. You're so kind. Uh, you know, I try. I try. I try to be a good host. Um, uh, okay, so to kick things off, Matt, where can people find you? Uh, you could find me on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram uh, at uh, Tattoo Pedigree. That's T A T O O Pedigree. Uh, yeah, I make. <laughs> I stream on Twitch. I'm a competitive Splatoon player He's slash good. Uh, Super Smash Brothers. He's so good player, and I also. <laughs> <laughs> like my my girlfriend says I should plug this more, but like I have a like I have a small fortune of like I don't know like fame on YouTube because like I used to do like fandoms on YouTube and like some of the videos that I have on my YouTube account, even though it's been a while, like have reached maybe like one point five million views. Did it really? What? I didn't know that. Views. Which one was it? The so. I, I've dubbed, like, uh, there's, like, two Super Mario comics. I've dubbed oh, yeah. Three Little Princesses, which is, like, Peach, Daisy, Rosalina, which is funny, because I made Peach in Melee, but... He does really good voices, uh, And I also did uh, Super Mario Adventures, which is, like, a Nintendo Power comic, like, from the 90s that I really loved. And it's funny, because, like, I did that video, and then Nostalgia Critic, there's a video where he, like, reviews, like, that thing. And he also, like, there's... it I... I don't know. I have no evidence to back this up, but I after like those videos had gotten popular, Viz bought the rights to the distribution of the comics so that they could release it again. Like it, it used to only be in the old Nintendo Power comics. Like that's the only way you could read it before. Yeah, you could say but he's an influencer. Now, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say For that sure, was totally man. me, but I feel like I don't know. There must have been some sort of influence because yo, they're big po- time they're though. Popular that's on dope. YouTube, big time. and people still like comment yeah. on those today. But yeah, so Twitch, YouTube, Instagram, yeah. Um, awesome, dude. Awesome, uh, Daniel. How about you, man? Yeah, well, um, y'all know you can find me at twitch.tv slash djb underscore remix. <laughs> Sometimes I still feel like I'm about to say djb bingo hot. Um, Yo, chill. <laughs> the, the streamer <laughs> formerly known as djb bingo hot. So, yeah, djb <laughs> yeah. underscore remix. Formerly known as um, Prince. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I definitely plan to. Wa- my schedule is freeing up pretty soon, so I plan to ramp up on the streams yes. finally. That's what I'm super hyped for. Let's go. You know, so look out for more music streams. Um, yes, my favorite. <laughs> I love those. Yeah, those are legit. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, and you'll also catch uh, my wifey, uh, Alexa, but uh, she goes by Rizaline Beatrice on Twitch. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm, like I, I mainly stream Valorant. Um but I also am in the middle of a playthrough of Yakuza 0, also Breath of the Wild, <laughs> and I definitely want to get uh, started on <laughs> Mass Effect. Hell yeah. Yes. I can't wait so. to see you play that, because I want to see how it looks. Yeah. Me too, me too. Yeah, I'm super excited to get started with that. I, uh, I have a coworker who is a huge fan of the games as well. And she bought the edition that comes with the helmet. Oh, what? Nice. Yeah. Damn. She's going to send us a pick once she gets it. Cause she's going to pick it up today. Actually. Like after the our gamer girl function. over there. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I got the helmet. I was like, yo, so I, I can't wait to see the pick. It's going to be funny. Um, cause she's going to wear it. <laughs> I was like, dude, let's go. Um, awesome. Thank you, Daniel. Yeah. Guys look for their stuff. And, uh, Ryan, you don't stream, but would you like to plug anything? <laughs> nope. What are you, the government? <laughs> 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 All right, that's that's enough for me. Uh, but yeah, y'all check out uh, Matt and Daniel. They go by Tattoo Pedigree and DJB underscore Remix, respectively. Um, please please say hi. Uh, tell them that you came from the podcast. That would really mean a lot to me. Um, and them, obviously, because you're saying hi. <laughs> And um, if you guys would like to connect with us, you can go to our website, www.downtime.live. You can click on the contact form, send us uh, a question or comment that way. We'll read it live on the podcast. You can also send us an email the old-fashioned way. That's contact at 
downtime.live. Again, contact at downtime.live. Send us an email. We'll say what's up. Uh, we'll read your comment on the podcast. Um, wherever this co- wherever this podcast is hosted, that you can leave a comment. So like YouTube, um, you can leave us a comment there. We'll read it and uh, you know we'll read it on the podcast. We'll answer your question wherever that may be. If you would like to join our community in Discord, you can find the Discord. <laughs> you can find the Discord um, link in our on our website and click on the word community. That'll lead you to a link here. Or the easiest way is to look in the description of wherever this podcast is hosted. That will give you the static link to join our Discord. Join, say what's up, say hi, have a conversation with us. These three lovely gentlemen will always be here, hanging out. So you know, tag them in a question or comment if you want, and. Um, I'll have them back on just just for you, whoever you are, <laughs> random person in the world. We will. I'll have another podcast with these three lovely gentlemen just to have that question answered. <laughs> no um, guarantees. You can find us. <laughs> What's that? What's that? No guarantees. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. No guarantees. <laughs> Damn. Uh, leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. We'll read it on the podcast. Right now we're like five out of five, which is awesome. Hell yeah. Um, uh, shout out to Ryan for the wonderful review last time, so long ago. <laughs> it was February. I didn't realize. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. It was a while. Um, we are on Podbean. We are Stitcher. You can also find us now on Spotify, Google Podcasts, nice. and most recently that I discovered, uh, Amazon Music, yeah. which is kind of cool. Congratulations. Hey. Yeah. I'll watch you on my fire TV. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're also on Twitter. You can tag us at Downtime Live. Say what's up to us. We also have a Twitch. It's kind of inactive, but I'm thinking about doing a live podcast uh, before Lisa comes back. Um, should have mentioned this at the beginning of the podcast, but you guys, there's no beef between Elisa and I. She's literally on a shoot for work, so that's why she's not she's here. On she won't be here for. Yes, exactly. We don't know what, but we know <laughs> that it is a movie shoot, and that is I all. Think, it could I be think, Indiana Jones. I think Jordan was spot on. <laughs> when what did he what did he say again? <laughs> I forget what, but he was spot on 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 the Two Brothers podcast. Go back and listen oh, to he, that. Didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> didn't he do that? <laughs> what did he? He said like that one series, uh, the the one movie that not many people know from Lucas. Uh, Willow. Willow. There you go. He's like, it could be Willow, and I was like, all right. <laughs> shout out <laughs> to Jordan. Like, who, I was like, yeah, he's my guy. Uh, shout out to my brother. <laughs> shout out to my brother Jordan for pulling that that reference out. Um. But yeah, guys, um, that is our podcast. Thank you, Daniel, Ryan, and Matt, for being here again. This is wonderful to talk to you guys. Thank you. Yeah, man, it's yeah, been thanks awesome. Thanks for having us. Always a pleasure. Yeah. Dude, I'll, I'll, of course you guys are going to come back. This is, this is the, the, the sequel to the first one, and we need, we need to round it out with three. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? Next time we'll uh, be um, in the same room. Next time we'll all be in a hot that, tub. Ooh. Right, yeah. <laughs> oh wow dude i'm down right. <laughs> they won't none of the viewer none of the listeners will hear it but uh they won't see it and it'll be okay yeah. just hear the water running <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right everybody thank you so much for listening to downtime podcast episode 166 have a great one bye <laughs> do you guys do buys <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah i'm keeping this in Peace. no don't <laughs> Oh, thank God. (laughs)